Is it is this on? You don't hear, right? You do hear? All kinds of all kinds of technical difficulties on the live stream tonight. Hey, that was a pretty good turnout. I think we hit the record on the live stream. 286, 287. We'll get the final stats later tonight. We'll see for sure. That's and that's great since we're demonetized. So what was it? I mean, I could see this one being demonetized because I, 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 you know, I said some things that that mainstream wouldn't be excited about. I get it, but uh, but it was demonetized first by the AI, and the uh, I, so the the AI is looking for keywords. I know I said Nazi and swastika and a bunch of times, and now this is demonetized. Um, but I also said that it's not that stuff. So when um, when a video gets demonetized, you find out um, within a few hours when the AI picks something up, and that happens that happens fairly frequently here. But usually, I appeal, and then when you appeal, an actual person sits and watches. So um, so I don't know. Eight times out of ten, the appeal is fine, and it's usually the video is approved almost uh, instantly. Because maybe I said swastika a bunch of times, but then they watch it and they're like, oh, it's a history video. I'm oh, sorry, that's that's not professional. So that's what I thought would happen this time. But someone actually sat and watched this video and said it's not suitable for advertisers. And I don't, I'm not really sure why. But it's really frustrating because there's a lot of work goes into these. It's my livelihood. And now it's like a week of uh, a week of free work, which is one of the reasons that we do these telethons every week. And I thank everyone for being here, 5,500 of you at this point. I already see some super chats. I appreciate supporting, uh, supporting the videos, supporting the channel. And every week, the super chats come in, and it's great because it really helps support everything here. And uh, But it's just – it's great. But on weeks like this, I see the shoot super chats. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, we're gonna, it's gonna, we're gonna be okay. But now the next few videos have to be like so tame. I, I, I wish they would just tell me. Hang on, I still got Discord going here. If you're not on the Wi Files Discord, you should get on there. That's a lot of fun. Let me give you a link. See, see, does that work? Yeah. So what I what what creators need is when something ha happens to a video like this, you need to show us or tell us what. So um, up until very recently, if there was a copyright claim on your video from either a sound or using someone's footage, the video would get a copyright claim. So you're demonetized because all the money goes to them, but you don't know what happened. It just says there's a copyright claim and you just what you can appeal it. And then you lose the appeal, but you don't know what, what happened. Very recently, like, I don't know, a month or two ago, now when there's a copyright claim, you get a timestamp. So you can click in there and be like, oh, okay, maybe I used a little too much B-roll from the History Channel. I'm sorry about that because the History Channel hates that. Um, but with demonetization of the content of the video, they don't tell us where. So I just sit here and go, I don't know, should I not? Should, in, how many channels do you watch? 
that when they talk about Hitler, they say the bad guy from World War II, right? Or they talk about Nazis and they say, you know, the, the evil people from World War II. Or if they talk about that disease or they'll, they'll call it the poke or they'll call it the, you know, the virus of undetermined origin, all that stuff. I, I kind of don't want to do that in the videos. You know, I understand why those channels do it because they're commenting on the news and they're mostly political and I get it. But I try, I, I, I try to make these videos not political, even when they, even when there's clearly a, a slant or a message. You know, my slant doesn't come from the left or the right. It really doesn't. It comes from a distrust of everybody, a distrust of, of, of the media and of whoever's in power. Whoever's in power now, whoever's in power last time, whoever's in power next time, I don't care for any of them. So, um, so it's frustrating. That's frustrating. So I reached out to YouTube. I don't have a direct contact there anymore, so I don't expect to hear back. But this has happened before. The channel has suffered when it's happened. But we'll, we, you know, we'll fight our way back. I don't have any, I, you know, I don't have anything to complain about. We're doing okay. The good time, uh, the good times aren't over yet, unless they are. I mean, at some point they're they're over, and you don't know when they're over until it's over. All right, what's going on in in the chat? Hang on, let me let me see. Yeah, the chat is um, distrust everybody. Yeah, that that makes sense. Uh, who uh, who's here? There's, there's Sean Kenny. There's Matt Hatter. Eric Harrison. Uh, Jesse Hoffman's here. The unknown says YouTube is getting bad. Yeah, I think so, but I don't know. You know, this is a channel, um, the unknown. This is a channel that that I understand it, that at first glance it would be of concern to a platform like YouTube. Like we were talking to our uh, like our channel manager today, who helps us find sponsors and stuff. And he was saying that a couple of brands were reluctant to advertise with the Wi files because they don't want to be on a conspiracy channel. You know, and I told him, I said, but we're, we're a history channel. We talk about the conspiracies, we try to debunk them with logic and science. And he's like, I know, I know. It's just they look at it, they see the thumbnail, they see the title, they watch two minutes of it, and they're like, nah, it's too, it's too weird. So I get that. So what he says is, we just need to educate the sponsors, the advertisers. And that's fine because we've done that in the past. We've had sponsors reach out and they're like, eh, you know, we, we like it, but, and then we say, just watch a couple of the episodes. And then they come back and they're like, oh, okay, we see your deal. You tell it like it's true and then you flip it. And then, okay. And then, you know, and then establish titles becomes a sponsor and creates a whole new shit storm. But my point is people watch it and they understand that it's not, crazy this you know we this is not a q channel bexel speed are i'm uh, aj you from queens i was born in the bronx uh lived most of my life as a youngster on long island but i've lived in all five boroughs and both counties of long island all over all all, all over new york um cuddly choya you debunk the nutters that's why i love this channel yeah cuddly I, I try to debunk the nutters without being condescending about it because, uh, you know, like I said tonight, conspiracies are conspiracies until they're true. And conspiracy doesn't mean wrong. doesn't mean lies. Conspiracy just means there are a bunch of people conspiring to do or say something. It doesn't mean it's wrong. But a lot of these conspiracies have turned out to be true lately. You, and uh, people are asking, oh, I wonder what six he's talking about. The thing is, you know what I'm talking about. Clyde's 1984 isn't a conspiracy theory. It's not. We're, li we're living in it now. I remember reading that book in school. I think we actually read it in 1984. That's how old I am. And reading it like this could never happen. Well, here we are. Uh, Six Ozzy do a video on the Shag Har Harburg incident. I don't know that one, Six Ozzy, but send it into the tips line. Yeah, what do I think about the Trump in indictment? I mean, come on, man. On this, the, it's politicians playing political games. 
Don't don't fall into the trap. It's not real. At that level, they're all the same. I swear. Uh, and this is classic Frank Trigger. Difference between a conspiracy theory and the truth is about six months. Of course, of course. See Roman Stone. They all do it. They all do it. They all do it. That's why we don't get caught up in left and right because they all do it. Uh, Life one hundred one. Would you do a video on the Zionist? No, no, you can't. You can't. I couldn't cover an airport without getting in trouble. I'm going to do Zionists. I couldn't do an airport. So I guess that scraps my idea about doing a video about the haunted, you know, four leaf clover highway. That's out. Can't do one on, you know, on the on the, the truck stop from hell. Can't do that one. Greg, what wow, that's crazy. The story got demonetized. I'm sorry, man. One of the best yet. And of course they demonetize you, of course. And um I was reluctant to do the story of the Denver airport because it's, it's been around a long time and I thought it was been covered to death. Um, you know, covered with people who believe it covered people who debunk it. I think I found some new stuff in there tonight. I think there was new, some new stuff in there. I mean, new to me. Um, so I didn't, I was reluctant to do the video. But then when I put the premiere up uh, late last night, I get a good, I can get a good sense of how a premiere is going to do by how many people stop and check out the uh, the trailer. And uh, we had a lot of people watch the trailer. You know, if we get 10,000 views on the trailer, that's a good sign. That means the premiere should get 10, 15,000 people. But the trailer got almost 30,000 views. So I was like, wow, this, maybe this video will do okay. Because there are plenty of times where a story is like old to me. So I assume it's old to everybody, but then people will say, no, 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 I, I never heard that before. Or, yeah, it's old, but I haven't heard it in a while. I'd love to hear a spin on it. Um, so I have, to, I have to trust you more than I trust myself, clearly. So the numbers were good. So I was excited today. I was excited that, all right, maybe this is going to be good. Maybe this was a good idea. And then got the notification from YouTube. It's like, ah! Because remember, it's not just the money. Losing the money sucks. It's YouTube will not promote the video because they don't promote videos that they don't make money on. And uh, and we know that for a fact. It's happened happened to this channel quite a few times. And that's what really hurts. We could do without, you know, we could do without, uh, we'll make up the money in the long term. But uh, it's really hard to see the channel just to see the the numbers go down and down and down and no one's watching and you know exactly why. And there's nothing I can really do. It take it will take three, four, five, six weeks to bounce back. And it, as, I don't know, as, 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 as beloved, as beloved, uh, rumble, AJ rumble. We're on rumble. Um, our videos, once they're, once they are premiered on YouTube and even including the live streams, they get shot to rumble automatically. I have a great relationship with the guys over there. We're going to start doing some stuff specifically on that platform. But here's the thing. There's no money in it. So, yeah, we can we can put the videos over there, but there's you, you don't make any money from it. So I'll always support those platforms. We also support Odyssey and BitChute as well. All of our stuff is automatically transferred over there, but there's no revenue. If there was revenue, it would be different. You know, I can see why bigger names on the platform are going there. But, you know, uh, if you're a Russell Brand or a Crowder or the guys in that crew, I see where they're going there, but they get a check. You know, Rumble says, here's a check. So I have a great relationship with Rumble and they want the content, but ain't no offer on the table for the Y files. You know, they're just like, oh, we like it. Can we use it? You know, it's not here's there's no offer. So we got to, we got to stay here and look, YouTube is, I, I'm not, I'm not hating on the platform. I'm a, I'm frustrated with it, but this platform has been, been very good to me in the channel and, um, including the people that work there, you know, so the partner manager I had, he's gone now. I, so I'm, I'm with, I'm without a contact, but, um, but he was very complimentary about the channel. He liked it. Um, we work with a couple of people on the business side that used to work at YouTube and they, they love the stuff. 
So it's, um, you know, it's, I got to think it's just, you know, one person watched it and just didn't care for it. Uh, Alphabet Corp says Deb, and she's right. So when you, when you lose an appeal, you should be able to like get one more, you know, like you, you got to deny it two out of three, but, um, I'm not going to be bitching about this throughout the entire live stream. I promise. I promise that it's just, it just happened. The wounds are raw. They're open. Dear Rumble, we need a deal, yo. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be, that would be cool. Jason, you and your stream but bring such joy to my life. Each of you brings such joy to my day at work. Have you heard of the mysterious red rain in India that dumped tons of unidentified genetic material for months, still unexplained? Um, I've covered red rain very, very a long time ago, Jason, but I didn't know about the genetic material. There was a, there's been incidents of red rain in India that's, that's at least the ones I researched where the soil was rich in iron and other, and other minerals that made, that make water red, right? And then because of some weather condition, that soil gets pulled up into the atmosphere, mixes with the water vapor and comes down as red. Like you've seen the stories, and this is in the video on the Y Files, it, like one of our first, where, rog, where uh, frogs rain down or snakes or the Kentucky meat shower where chunks of meat rain down in Kentucky. Like those things happened, but, um, but it's just this weird weather phenomenon. We're, we're, uh, I forget the name of it. There's a name for where it happens. Something like a, it's something like a weather funnel or something like that. Where just, it, it will just pull a bunch of stuff out of the ocean. Like there is, um, it might be Nicaragua. It's in the video where it, it happens like very consistently, like they know that every whatever, every June, the second week in June, it's going to rain fresh fish. So everyone's out there with, with baskets, just waiting for the fish God to drop the fish on them because it's some weather phenomenon that go that on the other side of the isthmus, isthmus, isthmus pulls fish out. And then on that side of the isthmus drops the, uh, the fish in. I haven't used the word isthmus in a while, but uh, but there it is. Isthmus. Now, all we need to do is um, get the word archipelago in there. We've got our uh, a geography uh, bingo card filled out. November 5th, 2020, raining frogs, says James Sweet Sweat. Sweet. I don't know where that happens. Easy, easy. Isthmus is. Yep. Yeah. Sharknado. Yeah. Sharknado. Yeah. I guess it's the same thing. Uh, Mary J, we had brine shrimp all over our foundation as our house was being built. This after a storm the night before, and we lived a couple of miles from the Atlantic. Yeah. I wonder if people ate those shrimp. Like, are those eatable? Just shrimp in the driveway? CS, where heckle at? He's here. He's here. He's he's chilling out. Chris Morrow, it's Miss Be My Lucky Day. Very nice. Nicely done. Uh, John Silva, Hen Hennebury. There needs to be a legal clarification of the right of freedom of speech with online platforms. Balance against law. You cannot yell fire in a theater nor promote violence or hurt anyone. I don't know, John, because it's, um, you know, it's, it's still a private platform, so they can, they can regulate whatever they want. You know, and my issue really isn't with the regulation. I have my views and I try to keep them to myself as much as I can. And, um, and, and the YouTube, whatever that is, they're allowed to have their views. And if they don't want certain things on the platform, I don't agree with it, but I get it. Because there are other platforms different than YouTube that have different spins. Not as big, but they do. My problem is what? What did I do? Tell me that. And then I won't do it. I'm a good boy. I'm not here to, you know, to make statements. I'm here to make a living. Wow, a lot of, lot, of, lot of super chats already. That's great. That's great that you guys are supporting, and I'm scanning, and you're very supportive, very helpful. I see Rune, Rune Lady still, she won't get rid of the avatar. She's going to keep it. 
I don't know. I don't, can I ban her from here? Let me see if I can ban her. Victoria's saying no down there. Yeah, did did everyone stick around for the uh and it's okay if you didn't stick around for the hecklefish? Don't be a sheep mug. But I had it here for you. Yo. Oh, there it is. I don't know how many people stick around for that, for the end, for the credits, but I tried to uh I try to make it fun. Yeah, I gotta thank everybody. You got to get the Patreon members up there. Every single one, by the way. If you are a member of Patreon, you are in that list. If you send a picture in wearing Wi Fi's gear, you're on that back page for the most part. Um, but yeah, that's his new one. Don't be a sheep. At shop.thewifiles.com. If you want to support the channel, uh, we would appreciate it. Jen's dancing. I don't know why she's dancing. What are you? Why are you dancing? Um, I'm dancing because I just ordered Gino and I dinner, and because um, we beat our record for the amount of people watching the premiere. We beat the record. We did. We beat the record. Gives a thumbs up. Uh, Gino, are you in my home? I certainly am. Hmm. You can't tell. You you can't tell from behind. I, no, I can't tell from behind. Uh, what, uh, yeah, I, the, I'm glad we beat the record. That that that's helpful and frustrating. I know. Oh, so I'm wearing merch. It's a Wi-Fi thing. Uh, Jennifer Travis uh, Mixie wants to sit, wants us to cover the 9/11 conspiracy theories. What do you think? <laughs> oh, are you crazy? No, can't do that, man. We do cover you know, it in the Discord. You'll... On the Discord, is that a, a hot topic in the Discord? Well, we'll talk about any, anything on the Discord. Oh yeah, that's it. Let me let me put the link in there. Yeah, so so, the, and if you want to get wild and weird, the Discord is the place to go. Um, but you know, I can't talk about nine eleven inside jobs and the Bush family and all that. Can't can't do it. Can't can't do it. Um, oh, there they there goes the team. There they go. Uh, insane how YouTube is trying to censor history and also issues that need to be openly discussed in real world, real words like those things. So, see, I can't even say those, those, I can't even say those things, bunny lover. Can't say those things. Um, yeah, at the end of the episode tonight, that's why I said go discuss this stuff with friends, family, neighbors, co workers. And, and here's the thing you're going to know the people that you can't talk to. I mean, you, you already know who they are. Um, but what I found surprising is people in the real world, neighbors and such, how open people are to discussing everything, even those that it may not fully agree with me and everything. That there, There's so many reasonable people out there. You know, real world is not like Twitter at all. Most people are are great. Should we do some super chats or... They're down there going, I don't care. Whatever. Um, hey, we could do some, we could do some mail first. Check out how about a little mail segment. Let's see what we got. Um, I think, well, we got these. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh no, I have I have them right here. Yeah, I have them right here. So we're going to do a full video on these. Uh, uh, so what do we, what came in the mail this week? We need like a mail song. Do, 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 it's time for mail. Here goes mail. It's time for mail or something like that. Heck official sing it. Oh, we got a great package from, uh, from Tiger World, Tiger World in uh, in North Carolina, uh, Rockwell, North Carolina. If you want to go see the Tigers, letter comes from Mike McBride. Um, 
AJ Hecklefish and crew, thank you for making my Thursday nights. I learn something new every time I watch your channel. Sign me up for a Lizard People shirt, too. Thanks, Mike. No need for any plug. Enjoy the wall calendar. We already plugged it, Mike. You get a sense of then you get a plug. So he sent a bunch of these uh, calendars. I mean, uh, adorable, right? So that's Tiger World, North Carolina. Mike, if you're watching, thank you. I appreciate that. And Mike was nice enough to invite us out there because our mailing address is in North Carolina. So he thought we were there, but we're not. But I'll take him up on that next time we're in town. Who doesn't want to see tigers? All right, this one comes from William T. Dixon. AJ, Jen, Gino, Victoria, and Hecklefish. Well, let's get everyone up there uh, since he's talking to me. Thank you for the shout-out to my shoddy YouTube channel. Maybe I'll get back to promoting it someday. Sincerely, William T. Dixon, calling it doodling. Oh, yeah, I remember his channel. So William T. Dixon sent us these uh, coloring uh, books. Doodle books. And some coloring. And look, if you're someone who's going to send in stuff like that, let me know if I can give it away because um, cause we'll give some of these things away on the, on the live streams. Rather than, you know, Jen, I'm not much of a coloring book guy. Jen will color. Yeah. What else do we, oh, we got these, these little things. Oh, these are so cool. Um, under this stuff, right? <laughs> All right, hang on. Uh, this is from Mio Nakamura. Uh, it's a lot of words, so I'm going to paraphrase. Uh, Dear AJ Hecklefish and the Waffle House crew, my husband introduced me to your YouTube channel a while back, and I binge watched all of your videos. Just today, we watched your videos together while working. That gets couples in the mood, by the way. <laughs> I get really excited when I see your notifications for videos on Thursdays. Well, you're not going to see one for this video this week. <laughs> um, a little bit about myself. She's a sculptor and art director at a special effects studio called Onyx Forge Studios. I also make collect collectibles and toys such as blind boxes and plushies for fun. Uh, I know you mentioned you're not fond of cryptids, but Hecklefish, I thought you might enjoy my blind boxes that I made. Okay, let's see what we got for blind boxes. Um, uh, the mail segment, the mail segment, what, the, the viewers go down at the mail segment, which, which I've noticed from week to week. That Hang in there. All right, so... We've got four of these. <laughs> I hear someone slack. That says little foots. What do you think this is? I think they're probably little figurines. <laughs> I, well, because I don't know if it was weed. Um, it's... Pretty little, quick with that blade. Let's see, well, <laughs> well, my real father was Puerto Rican. Yeah, so it's little these. Oh, they're so oh, cute! Cute little things. I, I don't know if you could see that. What is it? Now it, it's well, it says on the side of the box. It's cryptid. It's cryptid. Walking quietly on the moss-covered forest, and then there's a lot more words. All right, the last thing from the mail, which I'm very excited about. I can only show you a little bit of it. And I don't, do we know where these came from, Jennifer? Um, we were going to try to find out in the Discord. So we're trying to find out where these came from. And I think um, mm -hmm. this teacher's daughter reached out to me on, online, if it's the same one. But the uh, sixth grade students sent in all these Wi-Files pictures, <laughs> like this one. Laird this. Hecklefish. That one comes from Betsy Arroyo. Whoa, look at this one. Yeah, that's my look thing. That one. Is, is her name on there? That's that's a good one. That's that's real talent. And and of course, you're the crab cat. <laughs> that's Pamela sent that in. So um what I'm gonna do this week, maybe tomorrow morning if I have time, is I'm going to do a video for the back for backstage and I will show every single one of these and say hi to the kids. So they I have something so much to check out. That should be fun. Should be fun, right? Very. Yeah.
Should we do some of these super chats? Uh, let's do a super chat. All right. Well, let me get out of your hair. There they go. Super chats, 145 stacked up. That's that's a pretty good start. There's Christina Hinks for 499. Thank you. Thank you, human. Maybe now we can get some indoor plumbing for this bowl. Ugh, it smells like a dumpster full of used baby diapers in here. Oh, and I heard that it was gross. Did you guys hear that down there in the producer's windows? Did you hear Hecklefish? She's nodding yes. So all of these artists with zero direction just happen to create massively ominous and creepy art simultaneously. Hmm, I'm with Hecklefish. That's the word, Christina, is that they were given no direction about the art. And look, I believe that. Look, it's Colorado. Yeah. Colorado artists, they're going to be a little wacky. Um, and the thing about the mural, the murals were crazy. Like the gargoyles, I didn't think were that intense. And they're not like huge. They're up there. You Most people, I bet, wouldn't even notice them. By the way, most of this art has been taken down. Like the murals are gone. They're in storage. So with the murals, um, what was the artist's name? I think it was Leo Tanguma. Anyway, after all the all the theories hit the internet, um, a bunch of believers actually like descended on the poor man's house and um, were demanding answers about, you know, with the the Nazi and the dead kids and all that. And he was, according to the story, he was very nice and very upset that uh, that people were were taking the murals so negatively. Now, look, I I do it. Uh, an entertainment show. So I have to, I have to work the stories to make them entertaining. I have to mold them like clay, which means sometimes I have to cherry pick information. I never lie, but I have to cherry pick to make the story work. So Leo actually did four murals. They're, they're, they're two, but they're each one is two pieces. I think it's called a diptych. So uh, he has this ominous thing with the, the soldier and the sword but then the second part is the soldier has actually been defeated by the children and all of that. Now it's still dark. It's still dark, but his point was that the children will, children don't need weapons and they're dreaming of peace. So they're gathering up all the weapons and what they're doing is they're giving it to the little uh, Aryan boy to forge into um, farming tools. That's, that's, that's what he's doing. And the other one is, is, kind of similar it starts off with the 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 burning forest and the extinct animals and the mayan girl with the end of the world and then the second piece is all the children are gathered around like this glowing thing so that's supposed to be about global warming and environmental whatever you know it's colorado so that's that's that they're into that stuff so his, his so these are warnings about militarism and um, abusing the environment. So those are good messages. Just in the execution, it was a little dark. As for Blucifer, I, you know, I don't know why. why I, it's in the middle of nowhere also. And, and, and crank it up a notch, the eyes light up. I mean, pe <laughs> people were really, people were annoyed at it because he was contracted to do that statue like in 92 or something like years earlier and just didn't get around. He's an art. He's a Colorado artist. He didn't get around to it. Eventually the city of Denver sued him and said, you need to finish this thing. So, uh, so he finished the, the blue Mustang, the um, Lucifer. And, you know, I don't know. Was he just, was he annoyed at being sued? Like, uh, you going to sue me? Uh, I'll show you. But I, you know, I guess Lucifer had the, had the last laugh when it, when it killed him. So what happened there was he was just work. It's made of fiberglass, that horse. And it's huge, right? It's 32 feet tall, 9,000 pounds. And he was just working a piece of it. And a piece of the fiberglass fell off and just nicked his artery. And he just bled out right there. So that's how Lucifer killed his creator. But, I, but Christina, I don't think anyone was in on it. You know, I really don't. Um... So, and I don't think I was clear, that clear in the video about uh, where I come down on the theories. 
uh, I was clear enough for YouTube to make a, a decision. But uh, but yeah, I'm, I don't I don't believe any of the ominous stuff, the time capsule, the Masons. I, I really don't. But I do believe there's uh, there are bunkers down there. I do believe that. Whom do we have? Destiny Land Adventures. And what's what's in your icon there? Is that just a picture of your hatchback? I, I like everyone leans in the same way. <laughs> so his icon's just the back of a hatchback. Yeah, what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> if you could, if you could do a show on any topic on any platform, what would it be? Um, I like this platform. This one is <laughs> good to me. So if, you know, uh, as far as topic, you know, I don't really know. Like, um, I talk about how, no, I can't do 9-11 or Q or any of those. And um, it's not, I don't say it like I'm disappointed either. Because I really wouldn't want to cover 9-11 conspiracy. You know, I'm from New York. I was there for 9-11. I'm going to leave it alone. I have my own thoughts and theories, but I'm going to leave it alone. And same with Q. Uh, there's, uh, whatever you can believe what they say, or you can hate what they say. That's not even the point. There's just, a, there's a lot of negative energy around that topic. So these conspiracies that have a lot of just negative energy that get people upset. I, I, I don't want to do them. There's, when you watch the Wi-Fi, it's supposed to be fun, right? Producers, it's supposed to be yes. fun. Even when we do something dark, yeah. as we get toward the end, I try to let the, air out of the balloon you know because uh, when i watch videos about conspiracies or dark subjects most of them are i mean you got the debunking videos like simon whistlers which are annoying as which i spoke about um, but then you've got the believers that tell with 20 minutes about how it's all true and the end of the world and the bunkers and the lizards and all of that and then it's over and then you're just left with just feeling kind of dark and when I'm researching and watch, you know, hours and hours of it afterwards, I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. It's, you know, it's just a lot. Yeah. And I don't want people, if you're going to binge the Y files, it should be fun. So even <laughs> when we come from dark, like people burning to death, we can finish it up with something, something snappy, something peppy. Right? Now, I do understand why that video got demonetized. I do too. Yeah. What about this one tonight? Why were we demonetized? What say you? Honestly, I think it was it, me personally. If I was just watching it and had to guess, I would think it was the whole portion when you and Hecklefish were going back and forth about the Australian uh, virus and the forcing people to take the vaccine and all of that. That would be my guess. Now. Yeah. Because I was intimating certain things. Yes. So that, and that's fair. But the AI wouldn't know that. But it, the AI heard pandemic. It heard vaccine. Mm -hmm. It heard certain words that are definitely going to flag it. It heard sheeple. It heard, you know, that kind of stuff. So... That's going to be my guess as to why uh, the AI, because the AI heard Nazi, swastika, concentration camp, little German boy, vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> List goes on. And so then somebody watched it and then they probably got into the, like that section. And that was the section that, that my brain went, oh, that's probably why. So if we do the secret space program, you think we're probably okay? Yes, I think you're fine. If we do there Mothman, are, are we good? Yes. There were a couple videos that um, you've done that I was surprised that they didn't get flagged. But there was no like misinformation warning or anything on this video. No. They didn't put um, one on there. Yeah, and I think a lot of that has to do with the title and the AI is very strict in the first like 30 or 40 seconds where it looks for right. curse words and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I specifically keep certain words out of the title and the early in the video. Oh, right. right. And you so, also said New World Order, Freemasons, Bill Burr. <laughs> you went through the whole yes. list. And New World Order would be, that would be a flag, but I, but I said it later. I started the video off talking about bunkers. 
know, let, I'm just telling you. No, I'm, I, I agree with you. It was funny. I was um, someone, I think it was on Twitter, has a similar channel, smaller, and was complaining about the Y files that, you know, I must be part of the corporate establishment because the, he didn't understand how I just get away with saying the things I do. <laughs> now, there I didn't respond. Go. I'm not, I'm not going to engage, you know, in Twitter beef. There's no point in it. But I was like, dude, get away with it. I'm over here terrified. Right. Right. Well, well, let's see what's going on in the super chat. So Destiny Island, uh, Destiny, Land, Destiny Land Adventures. Thank you for the $5. Now, I'm not specifically sure what I would do. Maybe we do a deeper dive on Mel's Hole. Everybody loves what's going on in Mel's Hole. Please tell me what's in Mel's hole. I want to look in his hole. Becky Ward, 999. Thanks for covering this one. I always thought there was something fishy about this airport. I don't discount a FEMA camp or army base. Super suspect. I say this every time, but I love this one. Yeah. Oh, there's there. I remember Becky Ward. She's got the, she's got the Dalek. Um, yeah, I didn't hit the FEMA camp hard. I just wanted to put it in there because that's part of the lore is that there's allegedly a FEMA, uh, Camp down there. I, I, it's concentration camp, is what it is. I try to avoid saying it, but, but there it is. Um, but I, you know, I don't think so. You know, I don't know what purpose that would serve in the airport. You know, FEMA is a, FEMA is sketchy. There's no question about it. And um, I don't like a lot of that agency. That's that's one destiny land that I would cover is FEMA, but I I can't. So I don't know why they'd put a camp down there, you know, put it, put it out, put it out where you've got miles, miles of land. Like remember Red Dawn, the original Red Dawn, the camp was just outside, you know, in the back of, in the, in the schoolyard. Avenge me. Buzz dark and $10. Great episode as always going to have to bring my Mastiff through here to find the joking gargoyle. Oh yeah. There's, but there's Buzz's avatar. There's this. Yeah. But, the pets and their owners, they just, they start to look alike. No question. No question about it. There's a Breezy Stratton. Oh, yeah, baby, slip that in my G-string. I'm sorry about that, uh, Breezy. Uh, Wi-Fi is one of the coolest informative mystery channels. Well, thanks for that. And thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting tonight. If you're just joining us, it's been a rough one. But we're going to be okay. There's Daniel Garman, twenty dollars. Great show. Someone should check the Fitbit activity in that area. That's a great point. Please watch or read White Noise. This is verbatim of predictive programming for East Palestine, East Palestine or East Palestine. I'm biased by biased by proximity, but I bet you'll find enough for a show. That's and that's interesting, Daniel. But that's also a tricky subject because this that gets into government um, into government criticism which you know I do, but I, I kind of keep it mostly general. I keep it mostly general. Um, but to, you know, the, the, I went there more train derailments today or yesterday, you know, so that, that kind of stuff to criticize that and question that is dangerous now because the people in charge of that are still there, you know, so we can talk about the spills in three or four years when we have a different, you know, secretary of transportation or whoever's in charge of that. Um, but now the guy who's supposed to be looking out for us is still there for some reason. For some reason, he's still there. Oh, rune lady for $25. I hate looking at it though. Let me just put my thumb over your face while I read this. My thumb's over your face. I hope the situation gets, it's over right over your face. Hope the situation gets sorted. Uh, I love the episode. I hope many others will donate tonight. Uh, thank you for that. Also enjoyed the vid clip. Also enjoy the vid clip. I watched the first two seconds of it when it's like staticky and I didn't see the rest of it. I wonder if I can get it. On, can I get it on here? I mean, Ruin Lady, is it something that we can all watch together as a family? Oh, I have to sign into Slack. Oh, for Christ's sake. Um, hey, producers, can you get me Ruin Lady's YouTube link and, po and put that in the private chat? And then we can watch that if we can watch it together. They're nodding that we can. Okay. 
So we'll check that out in just a minute if someone can get that for us. Uh, Mike Willis for $20. Hi, it's you, Hecklefish, Jen, Victoria, and Gino. You probably won't believe me, but for me at least, this is the best channel on YouTube. Watcher is a close second. Well, that's very nice, Mike. I don't think I know. Oh, Watcher is the guys from BuzzFeed. They're, they're great. They are great. And they, they have a great story, too. But when they left BuzzFeed to do their own thing and how they were basically using their savings and going going broke doing it and looking for investors and that wasn't working out. And uh, they eventually got got a little bit of funding and it looks like they're doing great. But I check out all their stuff. Um, I'm not big into the puppet shows on there. I, you know, I like the weird stories. I like the ghost stories, the paranormal. I don't really I don't really get into the puppets. But hey, some people do. You know, if you're into puppets, I'm not here to kink shame you. Daniel Martinez, $5. Awesome episode tonight. What is the possibility of doing a video on Knights Templar? Or would that tie into Freemasonry? I don't think it would tie in necessarily, Daniel. I mean, there's overlap for sure, but I see those as two distinct um, groups. And uh, the Knights Templar, at, at certainly predating the Freemasons by quite a bit. Knights Templar is a video I'd like to do, but it's so it's so big and broad that um because right now as you know i'm in a production crunch i was able to get this one out almost on time you know on time is getting them done on tuesday um so i was almost on time got this out late wednesday night late last night so to do something like knights templar uh hollow earth there's a couple like that even tartaria that are such big big topics with so much information that i need more time than just a few days you, you you need a full week to research Knights Templar. Yeah, you, you do, especially to make the, the kind of video that I would want to see on it, which I think is the same that you'd like to see. I just need more time. But that time is coming. We're working on that. Alex Rivera, $10. Um, I asked if you would cover this a while back. Thank you. You did not disappoint. I'm glad. Axel, Axel, I'm sorry. I'm glad we just didn't disappoint. I was uh, worried that we would. Axel, by the way, was my radio name on WBAB, Long Island's home of rock and roll, with 50 minutes of rock every hour. Georgia Fox lover, uh, $10 Canadian, love that closing dialogue. And the lie burger, I see a t-shirt coming, right? LOL. Um, I think Victoria already posted a lie burger design that I think we're going to tweak a little bit. If you want a lie burger t-shirt, we can, we can do that. I didn't think the joke was that strong, but uh, but if you want it, I mean, or if if you're looking for merch, this mug, this is a Y Files. You can fist this mug. Can you see that? Because because one of the things we're proud of here on the channel with our merch, by the way, shop at the yfiles.com if you want to support your favorite YouTube channel or this one. What we're very proud of is our mugs can fit an entire adult human fist, unless you have some type of issue or condition. But a whole human fist can go in there. So, um, and you'll see it right on the in the store. It's you know it says. Ceramic, uh, gloss, 20 ounces, fistable. It's it's right there. So um, so someone wanted a mug that said, you can fist this mug, because I would always say, if I was holding up, let's say, a heck of fish for president mug, which is available at shop at the I, I, I would I would say, hey, you could you could actually fist these mugs. And someone in the chat said that should be a mug. And so it is written, so shall it be done. Thanks for support, Georgia Fox lover. Always good to see you in the chat. <clears throat> Kieran Drohan, 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 Kieran's here. One, two, three, four, Canadian. Loves the show. Have you done an episode of 9-11? And the demolition theory, is that one of the six? LOL, that is not one of the six. Um, I can't do 9-11. Can't do it. And um, I, Kieran, I'm assuming you were here, but that's a, that's it's emotionally charged. It's not just the politics. The politics makes it tricky, but it's emotionally charged. And I don't want anyone to be upset. This is an entertainment channel. You know, this is, I'm not here to, as a journalist. Um, I'm clearly not a journalist. I tell the truth. I'm not here as a journalist. I'm not here to expose, it, do exposés on stuff. I'm here to just entertain you. You know, I try to bring truth when I can. I try to speak truth to power. I try to expose the lies if I can, but I try to do it in an entertaining way. You know, I don't want to, there are plenty of other shows to watch to get you angry. DN, thank you for the ten dollars. Jose Castillo is here for uh, Castillo, Castillo, Castillo. Four ninety nine loves the channel. You should do an episode of Mexican folklore, duendes, duendes gnomes. I haven't, 
I haven't heard of that one. Duendes Gnomes. Okay, we got to look into that. Let me see if I can get can I get this going. All right, there. Let's see. Let's see what what he's talking about. Duendes Gnomes. Duende is a humanoid figure of folklore with variations from Iberian, Ibero-American, and Filipino cultures. Jose, you said it's Mexican. They're saying it's Spanish. I'm not looking to cause static. I'm just saying that's what this says. Um, in Spanish, when they originated as a contraction of the phrase dueño, dueño de casa or duen de casa, effectively master of the house, or perhaps derived from some similar mythical being of the Visigoth or Swabian culture, given, the given its comparable looks with the Tomti of Swedish language conceptualized as a mischievous spirit inhabiting a dwelling. Um, isn't this like the Harry Potter thing? Was it, wasn't he a house, a house something? House, house, house he was gnome? a house elf. He was a house elf. House elf. So, and was he similar to this type of thing? Look at what's going on in uh, well, his head. Is that, is that kind of phallic? It, it is. Dobby doesn't, doesn't have look, one of those. Does it look like he's kind of wearing a Mr. Naughty <laughs> on his hat? It, it does. Yes. <laughs> it does. All right. So, um, there she goes. Uh, so, all right. So here's the all the different cultures. Wow. All right, Jose. I don't know. You you got to tell me what's what's amazing about this, because if it's just a fetish, I'm not here to satisfy you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm interested. And thanks for supporting the channel. There's Vulcan Commandos back 709. We still don't know if that's a phaser or a disruptor. But well, we're going to find out. Uh, better, dem dem better demonetized than Phil Schneider. Yep. Good to hear your take on this one. Live long and prosper. Let's, let's see. Go ahead, Jen. I can do it with this hand. All right. Hang I on. Can't. Go ahead. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gino's got it. Victoria, Victoria, okay? No. Just, just, still some residual effects from that stroke. Uh, thanks for that Vulcan commander. Better debunked than Phil Schneider. All right, so I'm assuming you know who Phil Schneider is, but he was the whistleblower who blew the whistle on Dulce Base, New Mexico, and the underground bunker that he worked on. And when he went down there, he and some special forces that were there protecting the site got into a firefight with, with a couple of aliens. Aliens blew off Phil's fingers. You can see this in his videos, a hole through his stomach, and you'll find pictures of him holding his shirt up, and he's a mess. And um, he eventually came forward about all this information in the early 1990s about these different black, black sites and black projects he worked on, and then became more and more vocal, especially in the UFO community. And in 1995, he was giving a talk in Denver, um, and it might have been at the Preparedness Expo. That might have been 94. Anyways, around then. And he said he has 10 friends, 12 friends that over the past few years died under mysterious circumstances. He did, he, it was like eight suicides and three, you know, hit by trains or whatever. And, um, and he said if to his family, if I show up dead, it wasn't me. It was, it was murder. Just a few months later, he shows up dead in his apartment. He's found by his um, his landlord. And in the video here on the channel, it's, um, I think it's called Dulce Base, if you look for it. I cover Phil Schneider's story in a little bit more detail, but I cover his, his death and the circumstances around it that make it very, very strange. Um, and look, I, honestly, Phil was, he was distraught. You know, he had problems. He had mental problems. He was heavily medicated. Um, he was suffering from debilitating illnesses. He spent most of his time in a wheelchair and on meds. He would stand for his talks, but when he was done, he would go right back in the chair and spend most, a lot of his time in the chair, a lot of his time in bed. So he was suffering physically, suffering mentally, and, um, and also didn't tell the truth a lot of times. You know, he, um, he had pictures of 
Valiant Thor. He would show those pictures to people. Like here's, he'd say, here's my father next to Valiant Thor on the ship at the Philadelphia experiment. Like he's gets a lot of theories in, in one shot, but, um, and his father was a, a U-boat captain in world war two for the Nazis that was captured and then came over to fight for the allies and was a submarine captain for the allies. And there he, and he's part of this program on the Philadelphia experiment with Valiant Thor. None of that is true. None of that is true. And in that video, I, I, sh I we did, the background, the genealogy on his father, I think his name was Oscar Schneider. Um, he was in, he was in the Navy. He was a doctor. Um, he specialized in shipboard safety. He was not a captain of a U-boat or a submarine. And, um, the picture of the Philadelphia experiment, Philadelphia experiment happened in the forties, but the picture that Phil's showing is, is a, is a ship from the sixties. And you could tell by the overhead lighting, you know, fl there's fluorescent lights and there's, there's stuff around the picture that, uh, if you know, the boats, you would say, oh, that's, that's from whatever this class ship, 1963 to 68 or whatever it was. Uh, the picture that he says is his father. That's not his father. At least it doesn't look like it. And then Valiant four is another video that we did. And, um, I don't want to say we debunked it, but, uh, but we exposed some issues with the Valiant Thor story about how it was probably a riff on the day the earth stood still when, um, I think, I think the name of the book was you guys in the chat will know something like strange strangers on the white house, strangers in the white house, something like that. I could, I could probably find out. Valiant Thor. Oh wow! Look, it's, it's right, right there. Uh, Valiant Thor books uh, allegedly landed in the White House. I mean, it's a great. It's one of my favorite stories. Stranger at the Pentagon. That's what it was. Stranger at the Pentagon. So, this is the book. Um, uh, Frankie, Frankie Strangest, right? So, this is the book where that legend comes from. Is um, is these two police officers are just, they're just hanging out in DC. They're doing whatever, you know, you know what cops do between calls, right? They're just eating. So they see, um, they see something weird in a field and they go over and check it out. And it's, uh, it turns out it's a spaceship that's like dematerializing or whatever it's doing. And the cops can't believe it. The door opens it, you know, just like uh, like an uh, like an original series Star Trek episode, right? The door opens, the platform comes down. You know, right? Doesn't doesn't or Rick and Morty doesn't Rick say that you make got to do the platform slowly, right? Because they go crazy for that. Platform comes down, and uh, and they draw their guns, the cops, right? Because it's an alien invasion. So the guns are drawn, and out comes like this tall, handsome dude, like in a in, you know he's he's sharp looking. I think I think in the book. He's wearing like a, like a shiny onesie because that's in the fifties. That's what they wore. Um, but he's human looking. He just, according to the book, he's just taller and handsomer than, than normal people, I guess. So they have the guns, but the guns don't work or something like that. And of course, when you're an alien arriving in Washington, DC and you're met by police, the first thing you say is take me to your leader. So, um, so they do. And they, uh, they throw him in the back of the radio car and they blast down to the Pentagon. And um, I'm not going to read the whole book to you. It's not story hour. But um, but Eisenhower gets involved. They're at the Pentagon. Valiant Thor ends up staying there in the, in the Pentagon for a while, like a couple of years, I think. And eventually he goes off to – he takes his ship to Hoover Dam. Where, that's where it is right now. Uh, but Valiant Thor, his whole crew gets involved. Um, they create this, this deal, this contract with Eisenhower that they're going to trade technology, you know, the U S and all of that. And this, and it continues. Uh, and there are pictures online of, of his crew. I'm assuming you guys have seen all of this stuff, but you know, uh, we'll add a little, little flavor. This is all the book. So here they are. So there's Valiant Thor there in his crew. And their names are, I mean, it's, 
you've got Valiant Thor, but the other ones are like Judy, Rob, and like Phyllis. But Valiant Thor, he's got that badass name. So these are pictures, allegedly, of um, Valiant Thor and his crew at some meeting in New Jersey that Eisenhower is supposed to be there. We don't see pictures of him. And they're discussing, you know, the plans moving forward with uh, the alien race. Pardon me, that's terrible. The human race. And all that, and it's a great story. But um, it also happens to be the plot of the day the Earth stood still, for the most part. But what really makes it juicy are the pictures, right? And nobody, nobody can find where these pictures came from. And if someone has, then then let us know in the chat, because that would be that would be amazing. I couldn't find it, and I've seen these pictures for years. It's the same photos that have been around since the internet. So that's Valiant Thor and uh, and Phil Schneider. And hang on, I'm being flagged down. There she is. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> can I sort of like conspiracy theory the conspiracy theorist for a second? Yeah, and how come we're now no microphone this week? No, because everybody kept saying it was bad. So I. This is okay. We can hear you. Okay. So if let's just say if Phil. Like, we know that he made some stuff up, right? And he knew he had a lot of issues going on. He knew he was, his days were numbered. And you wanted And I don't to know have, if he was lying or delusional. Even delusional. And you wanted your story to live on. And you wanted to, people to continue to talk about all of the stuff that you uncovered. Wouldn't a great way to do that be to tell people if something happens to me, I didn't do it. Even if you did do it, because then of course people are going to talk about it and say, he said, he's fine. Nothing's going to happen to him. It, it and, and could be people to talk about it. You know, I think a lot of it was, um, the more he talked about his experiences, the more attention he got, in the UFO community, he was treated like a rock star. So here's a guy who's, I've been looking for that. Here's a guy who, um, you know, he's sick. He's getting older. He's a little, he's kind of, he's estranged from his, his wife at that point. Um, starts talking about these experiences he's had. And suddenly he's a VIP. People are right. waiting online to talk to him. To ha He's signing stuff for them. And um, that's better than... You know, he just he just drove over here from his studio apartment, his filthy studio apartment with pizza boxes everywhere. And now he comes in here and it's applause and people are lining up to ask him questions. He's important. Uh -huh. And um, when you're depressed, which I which I'm I'm pretty sure he was when you're depressed, that has to be intoxicating and um, so. and a way to get some kind of validation about about a difficult life that you're living. Also, it's time to do a giveaway. A giveaway? A giveaway! Whee! We're doing a giveaway. And someone in someone in the premiere said the giveaway word should be um, dirty sneakers or something like that. <laughs> or lie burger. Lie. Oh, lie burger's a good one. Oh, uh, we'll turn that off. And how do we do that? Give Oh, okay. Good. Good. It, normally this... This is a very tricky. Okay. Uh, Lieberger? Lieberger. Lieberger. Okay. So if this is your first time here, here's how it works. We give away stuff. Uh, usually every hour we give away a $50 gift certificate to the Wi-Fi store. Shop at the wi where you can get great stuff like the, uh, like the Illuminati mug, which is, a, which is an homage to Mr. Naughty. The batteries go down there, and uh, and the wife will let you get away with murder. Um, so what happened? You put Lieberger in the chat, one word spelled just like this. The program will pick someone randomly, and then when you win, then you what do you do? You go to Victoria's house, right? We we'll give you her address, and no, no, you come to oh, Discord, man. Discord. And put in a help desk ticket, and we'll get your name and email and get it out to you. And But you call them. And right? then you get a $50 gift certificate to the Wi-File store. And they can call, they call no. her? <laughs> okay. 
I don't want to be here. <laughs> Discord. They can call Gino. He'll talk. Yes, he will. <laughs> By the way, uh, can I say, if Phil Schneider was lying, then who shot off his fingers? <clears throat> so uh, Phil Schneider was a... Uh, and he, in college, he worked on, with heavy machinery. So later on, his college roommate said, yeah, I know his story, but I was with him when he lost his fingers and he got injured um, doing whatever it was. It's in the video. I explain what that was. So, um, so, th so there's explanations for all of that. The thing about Phil Schneider is if you lie about one thing, which we know for sure he did, then everything else you got to question. So – which sucks because he has a lot of good stories that would be fun to believe in, but now we don't know what. <clears throat> so that's, that's, um, that's Phil Schneider. All right. So Lieberger is going on in the chat. Uh, everybody seems to be spelling it correctly. Um, fib filet says Wayne black. That's funny, but that's not going to work. Um, James sweat. How is AJ's thermometer finger? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but um, that was from when I was talking about you how you ate it. tuna for sixty days, and you now had so much mercury in your system that you could take somebody's temperature with your finger. Not, I didn't think about it when I said it, and apparently people still remember that it was uh, a little. They remember Jackie Radford um, says industrial accident. Yeah, that's what happened mm -hmm. to Phil Schneider's fingers, uh, but it's still fun to look at. You know, he is up there with you know just talking with his. His nubs and his whatever injury that was that he sustained in his stomach was gnarly because he's a mess. Shaganator uh, missing an L. That could work. Uh, carries Nora. Truth, 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 truth. That truth. That oh, truth. Taco. That's <laughs> funny, but that, that's not, that's not going to work. Uh, so should we draw? Uh, I mean, oh, Mr. What are the six conspiracies? I can't say Mr. But you know what they are. Uh, should we draw this? Thousand people, uh, Mimi Mimiyagi. I don't know if that'll work. I think it might, Mimiyagi. I think that might work. Uh, Funny Farm in Texas, y'all. I don't know if a live burger. I don't Look know if that'll puppy. work. Oh my gosh! Uh, Wally Fish Moist Burger. Gross. <laughs> um. Someone uh, said, "Seriously, perfect. slow down." <laughs> All right, here we go. There's zero. There's Alex. There's the, that fish. Bills. There's Megan. There's Absinthe. Darcy. Boshin. Boston. Dickerson's. JYL. Cephas. Nathan Williams. Mercedes Ford. And Eileen Crotty. Eileen Crotty's the one. So Eileen Crotty, what you do is we're going to give you Victoria's home number, and you call <laughs> her, and tell her, and you just talk to her. Have a conversation. Or <laughs> you can come to Discord and put in a help desk ticket, and my mods will link you up. That's right. or, you could do, or you could do that, but um, and then you'll get a fifty dollars gift certificate to the Y Files store. But you DM me; I'll I'll get her number for you. That'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Should we um? Should we go back to some super chats yeah. while uh while Eileen Crotty gets squared away? And when um, you're ready, but, AJ, the link is in the chat from Rune Lady. Oh, okay. Uh so thanks, Vulcan. For, commando for looking out yeah so it uh, right now my mental health is i'm 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 fine i'm annoyed at the, at the algorithm but i'm not looking to to do anything so if there's no video next week <laughs> all right let's see if um we're so that, close to ten thousand. that works yeah. um hang on hang on this is just, I'm not prepared for any of this. Okay, that's <laughs> that. Valiant I don't know if the audio is going to work. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put the producers down so we can so we can see it a little bit bigger. This is from Rune Lady on Discord. I don't hear anything. Oh!
Did you know that was coming? Yes, I did. You knew that, Jenny? I did. <laughs> Jenny had to know, because otherwise she would have... Ah! I loved it. I was watching it during uh, the other chat. Yeah. The AMA. All right, who, who jumped in the chat? What? What? I want to know who in the chat, who got... Who, who did it work? Jumped? It worked jumped. on me. <laughs> Mark Johnson, it worked on you, didn't it? Fozzie, you came in late. Oh, there they there they go. I'm glad you're here. Ruin lady. I'll get her for that. Casey Jones, no question, just $75. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Human. I want you to know I said human. Thank you for all the dough. Tipping, as I'm sure you will find. Always is a good time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's fun to tip the F-I-S-H. It's fun to tip the F-I-S-H. <laughs> Thank you for the support, Casey. Very, very helpful. Demonic Hordes. Don't even have to read his comment because you know what it is. One great topic down. Black Eyed Kids to go. Do it. It's coming. You know, it's coming. Um, wait a second. Wait a second. Who's the new, who's the new kid? <laughs> who's the new kid on the, on the live stream? Where Come are on. you? Oh, that one, well, that one. Bean. Which one? That's Nugget. Nugget? Yeah. Look. Bad boy. All right, demonic chords. That's coming. Ray Lewis, ten dollars. What's the big deal with Freemasons? I always thought they were benign. Um, you know, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, Ray Lewis, but they're kind of benign. Um, Masons, for the most part, are awesome. If you know some, they're usually very friendly. They're very, they're very generous. And um, so, when we do the video about the Masons, it's really not going to be about the Masons that you know you meet at your kid's soccer game, which is you know, it's just it's just a just a, a, a fraternal organization. We'll we'll get into the, like the history of it, and we'll tie in other secret societies. We'll make it. A, we'll we'll add a little bit of spice and make it make it a little more fun. Now that's not to say there aren't masons up to some shady. Sh There's a waking journey media for ten dollars. Another great episode. Thanks for the call to action, encouraging folks to engage with one another about these so-called theories, as opposed to keeping them to yourself or letting big tech win. Yeah, they have to awaken journey media, and you're going to find people that that don't that get angry at you or they condescend to you, and they just don't engage. You're not going to you're not going to convince anybody of anything. It's more about finding other people that are like, you know what, that was weird the way they didn't let us say that for a year, but now it's true. You know that kind of stuff. You know, find those people because. There's a lot of us. Uh, and W, when you're taking flack, you're over the target. That's that, that's a that's a great expression. Um, we're 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 taking some flack right now. Xander Grace, thank you for the fifty dollars. That really helps. You know we're demonetized, right? Um, great episode as always. My daughter Olivia is obsessed with hecklefish. Anyway, can, she can get a shout out from you and our strict but fair lord. Hi, Olivia. How old is, how, how, is she old enough to watch this crazy channel? Well, I'm glad you're out there, Olivia. And um, I'm also glad for your big spending dad. Pretty good. Uh, Occult Journeys, 22 Canadian. Love the Denver airport. Ep. I created a doc about Phil Schneider called The Underground. New doc coming soon. Secret Space UFOs, Apollo 1 through 11 with Mike Barra, James Fox, and Richard Dolan. Love your work, Occult Journeys channel. Uh, everyone check out the Occult Journeys channel. And we love Mike Barra and James Fox and Richard Dolan. Those are some heavy hitters. If you're a fan of Mike Barra, stay tuned. Chad's Fishing Tales. My fiance and I love this episode. One of the best. We never miss an episode. What is the animated intro at the beginning of each video? Um, I saved that for y'all because I found it. Hang on, hang on. I'm look. I'm looking for it. Just 
give me a second now what did i call it uh sci-fi uh, intro animation okay see if this link works uh chad's fishing tales uh did that go through the art station link oops let's see yeah. so this is the guy that created that animation ash thorpe so i i haven't scrolled through to see if it's in here and what the deal is but i did happen to see that he creates awesome stuff so i don't know how it, it this ended up with on youtube but i'm glad it did so that's ash thorpe and i have this other one uh it's so it's mecca created by ash thorpe and this name so maybe maybe that's the guy that did the animation let's see uh, there it is so we finally have the answer it's mecca is the name of it i'm not going to remember but enough people asked about it that I, that uh, I had to track it down for it. Yeah, there it is. I don't know how to say this word. Just it's missing some consonants. And then there's a countdown at the end. Yeah, that's the one. That's you know that's pretty badass. Oh, uh, so, all right, Chad. So, so another, another mystery solved right here in the White House. Uh, Logan Miller, 1080, perfect ending agent. Glad you did this one. Is censorship coming your way? It's already here. Hope not. Get tired of it happening to people. It's our reality to control. We'll watch you on Rumble for sure. Thanks, Logan. I appreciate that. Um, the channel is going to take a hit, but uh, but I think we'll be okay. It's just, you know, it's frustrating, but we're going to take a hit. R.B. Rudolph, $100? I'm a fish, I'm a lover, I'm a freak In the covers, I'm a swimmer, I'm a saint I do not feel ashamed Thanks for that, R.B. Hope you enjoyed that little rendition. Uh, Galia, 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 Galia the hiker. Uh, what's she eating in this? Is that, is that broccoli? I or she last time. I think it's kale. She got kale coming out of her face? I think she's got kale coming out of her face. Okay. So that's not that's not her face, right? She doesn't have a growth. I no, I don't think so. But she could. She very well could. And if she does, that's not very nice of you making fun of her green growth. Oh, let me see if I can make it a little bigger. Oh yeah. I could now I make it bigger. That's something that she should probably have that looked at. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, hi from the forest. Uh, great episode, a lot to think about. Kalia, you have the forest coming out of your face. Scott F2345, demonetized? It means you're doing something right. Love the message of this one. Thanks for all your hard work. Don't eat bugs, fist mugs. That's a pre that's pretty good, too. You know, all the Wi Files mugs are fistable. You can get them on shop at thewifiles.com. Support your favorite YouTube channel or this one. Don't eat, I'll try the cricket powder, though. I'll try it. Um, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to try, I'm going to make like cookies or something with cricket powder. I'm going to feed them to my wife and see if she notices. No, no yeah, but, cricket mugs. But if there's I mean, fresh cookies in the kitchen, <laughs> it'll be hard to say no. Uh, See, look, I'll try it, but like, I have a feeling it was very, it'd be very like earthy. Crickety. Earthy. It'd be kind of earthy. Yeah. Oh, we're going to feed her bugs. She's going to love it. Christina Hinks is back for an on demonetized. Here's some monetization from the Hinks boys, Peyton and Braden. Thanks, Peyton and Braden. I appreciate the support, Christina Hinks. It's like saying her name, Christina Hinks. Louis two times. Louis two times. Uh, hi to Jen. Hi to Jen. Gino and Victoria. Oh, I guess I guess I can go just f myself then. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Well, he talks to you now. You have done yourself awesome episode. Can't begin to express my thanks for all the hard work. Upped the ante for demonetization. Can't speak as uh, can't speak these on these things. Yep. Yep. I'm annoyed. Midwesterner, thank you for the $10 of the nice words. Eric Bishop is back with a big shekels for uh, for the tip jar. Absolute BS that it was demonetized. I try and try to support and support these platforms and defend them, but they keep taking away reasons for me to. Best work, y'all. I uh, love the episode. It was the perfect balance as always. It's very frustrating, Eric, because this is the only this is really the only place to go. You know, of creator wise, you know, as an independent without a, a deal. Freaking freezing in here. Um, so we got to stick with YouTube. So I have to I have to bend the knee. I don't want to, but I have to. Sky, twenty dollars. Always a highlight of my day when I see your videos. This guy's some kind of elf or uh, some kind of warrior Norwegian like a Norwegian elf yeah Valkyrie a Valkyrie I heard Gina from the other room uh yeah but you know AI is big there's a there's an app now where you can like sort of create your face but with AI and a lot of them turn out to be sort of these Nordic hero type looks I'm not making it up. You David Butler, thank you for the 999. You got to monetize those glasses, bro. Your fans want them. They do? Uh, they're just like Amazon amber glasses, you know, for 15 bucks. But I, you, you need them in here with the lights and everything's dark and I'm going half blind. I hate the reflection and it really bothers me, but you know, you can do. Vegas, Vegas Nomics, twenty dollars. Love Thursday nights because of the Wi files. You guys are amazing. You are amazing, sir, ma'am. They, them, you are. A seventy garage, ten dollars. Your message at the end of the episode is why I stop people when they say, "What are you, a conspiracy theorist?" and can correct them with, "No, I just have a healthy skepticism." Yes, of course, of course. Can't just eat whatever they shovel at us. It, there's an agenda attached to it. It's not the truth. Some of it is from this side. Some of it is from this side. But everyone's got an agenda. So we take it all with a grain of salt and, and pursue their, our truth on our own. Ganicus the second. I love the channel so much. Which of your videos spooked you the most? The 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 Shadow People episode, Ganicus, where I told the story about the hag that um, that attacked me in the middle of the night. It's still one of the scariest nights of my life. So that that one spooked me. Um, let me see. There was another one that had me looking up, like looking over my shoulder. I forget which one it was. It wasn't that long ago. Uh, that was fine. George, that was fine. No, Shadow People was upsetting. The, um, the ARV episode was a little stressful. As we wrap that episode up with all the scientists um, that died under mysterious circumstances while researching free or cheap energy. Uh, the Warrens was a pretty creepy one. You know, I, I debunked them in that, but it was it's still creepy to read the stories. You know, for the most part, it's, it's just stuff that I'm writing or stories that I really like. But every once in a while... I'll write one that that has me uncomfortable, you know, looking over my shoulder. And you'll see it on the live stream. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll hear a bump in the night, and I have to get up and see what's going on, right? Because they they got to be watching, right? The men in black they have to know we're out here at this point. Because Murica, ten dollars, dude, almost a two million subs. You ready? I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Things is, things is slowed down a little bit in the last week or so, but we're. We're clawing, we're clawing our way there. Never thought we'd get that far. Doc five seven five eight ten dollars. Great episode. I've never heard of any whistleblowers come forward on DIA like Area fifty one. I don't think I have either. Um, now, people, you know, people that believe in the DIA conspiracies will say 
contractors have come forward, but they, they're always anonymous. They will never say who. Um, even more mainstream videos about this, like on the History Channel, will say, well, people have said and contractors have worked on the project, but we don't know who. Uh, we do know that contractors worked on, like companies worked on the airport that were fired, allegedly for no reason. And part of the story is they were fired before they can learn fully what was going on. So you'd work on a chunk of the airport, but they'd get you out of there before you can learn too much. And then they bring on someone else, but it's a government project. So, you know, that's contractors are going to come in and out. It's also how, how that's going to work. Um, so I don't know. There's mountain goat. Wow. 99, 99. That's really helpful. on a not like tonight. They don't want anyone to question the narrative. Keep up the good work, man. No, you don't want to question it. You got to go along to get along. Stephen Shorn, $5. I think these days they're so cautious because of people who encourage ridiculous things like anti-masking, QAnon, uh, et cetera. Love your show. Keep it up. Yeah, I won't even talk about masks. One, one way or t'other, it's no, there's no advantage in it. There's no upside uh, to me. There's Megan Garcia. Uh, look how happy Megan is to be. She's so happy. Look how, look and, how nice. Look. And I love her glasses. Look at how not, yeah. Very happy. She's very happy. It's, it's Victoria, always pithy. Cat, Chris Jackson, $5. I will keep supporting you. Thanks, Chris. We couldn't do this without you. Could not do it without you. Uh, you do have yourself a, a crab cat shirt, right? You can get those at shop at the You can either fear the crab cat shirt. And if you don't like to wear the crab cat, you can always drink out of them. Fear the crab cat mug. We keep the prices cheap. And remember, everything's fistable on the Wi Files. Everything is fistable. Jackson Cagle, um, isn't that how you? No. Uh, your no. pelvic floor. No. You do the squeezes. Nope. Is that Victoria? You know, you want to talk about you like you do the squeezes and it strengthens. <laughs> it's Kegel. Is it? Yes. It is. Well, Jackson Kegel says boo on the tube, and I agree. I agree. Boo on the tube. Uh, Carl Poff, uh, why do they decide what's appropriate for advertising or for us? Um, good question. I mean, the, the, from YouTube's perspective, like any platform, you have advertisers. So whether it's, you know, Acura or Toyota or Budweiser or whoever, if the advertisers don't want to be associated with a certain kind of content, then they don't have to be right. They shouldn't have to be. And that's, this all started on YouTube. Like this was the adpocalypse is when some big brands saw their ads running on channels that were questionable. And I honestly don't know what channels they were. I don't know if they were Q channels from what I understand, there was like terrorists, <laughs> terrorist channels and stuff. Um, so like a big brand doesn't want to be associated with that. But we, what you would hope is that after a channel like this that has a, a fairly large audience and has been around for a couple of years without causing any trouble, that YouTube would give us the benefit of the doubt and say, advertisers are fine here because they are. So that's what one would hope, but one would be disappointed. Watchful, observant, fear the crab cat. Do you know where you can get that shirt? Um, I believe you can get that shirt at shop.thewifefiles.com. Right, you are, sir. Right, you are. Jeff, 999, two thumbs up. Thanks, Jeff. There's Lee Miller. Please cover Roanoke. Who cares it was debunked? It's cool. Plus Hecklefish with a buckle hat. Bucklefish. Um, I like it. I like that a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. I just said that. Yeah, that's, you know, that's, Roanoke is a story like Denver. I mean, Denver Airport's been covered for years. Roanoke has been, been covered for 300 years. Um, 400? 500. And debunked, as you said. But if it's a good story, tonight is so disappointing because it would be such a good experiment to see if, can I do an older story with a fun spin and will people watch it? It would have been a good experiment because then we can go back to a lot of the suggestions that you make about Roanoke and others that I keep saying, no, it's been covered. It's been covered. Bob Lazar and all that. And I'd have some justification for it, but tonight is not that night. So we will 
We'll we'll keep it. Hacking away at it. X X taste X taste X tasty fifty dollars. That's very generous for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for all you and your team do. My boyfriend and I watch every single one. Oh, uh, it's hard to excellent work and super based outro monologues. Never stop what you do. Thanks X X X Tacy. I didn't, I didn't feel like it was that based. I'm glad you thought so. I didn't think I didn't feel didn't feel it really was. Uh, the God Files. I think it's four ninety nine. I can't read what, what his avatar says. Can you? Uh, it, I think it's a, it's a quote from the Bible, I think. But I can't really see. Matthew M. for 1978. Not my channel, but Space Wave Cosmic Relaxation is great. Sorry, vomiting in my mouth, which is not professional, is great for a break from the clutter nonsense and negative vibes. All right, Space Wave uh, cosmic relaxation. I'm I'm checking that out over here before I put it on the screen in case I'm being trolled, which does happen. All right. Is this the, oh, that's, this guy's not relaxing me at all. Just FYI. Uh, that's an ad. Um, it looks good. I watch stuff like that. I watch, um, I mean, depending on what this is, I'm assuming that I watch stuff like this. Uh, yeah, cyberpunk ambient. I watch a lot of um, ambient worlds. I like this channel. It's got all the peaceful stuff. What What's cool is the music, you know all the music. So it's Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, all of that. And what he does is he has these animators so uh, you can't hear the music, and maybe next week I'll get that fixed. But he has animators that will, you know, the make they're making the the tree go. There's snow. There's a couple of really fun ones, and the music is really good because it's all the music we know, and some of the animations are really great. So that's ambient worlds. And if you do listen, support him on Patreon because he he can't get paid for any of that because he's it's all copyright music, so he doesn't make any money from YouTube. Thanks for that, Matthew. Uh oh, the name, the name, Keith Eichley, twenty dollars. Keith and Tasha Eichley here. I admit we giggled at the animated gargoyle. Great video. The Obama went to Denver for the comet was news I didn't know. Extra money for the demonetization. Love you all. Be safe. Be kind, and you are appreciated, uh, Keith and Tasha Eichley. Um, yeah, the gargoyle was funny. You know, I had to I, I had to make the point that uh, that the airport is condescending because they really were. They they I, you couldn't even talk to them about it after a while because it was just like, oh, they rolled their eyes. Um, I found some email like before the airport embraced it and just started treating everyone like an idiot. I found some email exchanges with, you know, from the late 90s, early 2000s with their spokespeople person, spokespeople, whoever they were, and holy cow, were they rough when, with people asking questions, you know, for PR folks, that it, one exchange devolved into, you know, you keep asking me these conspiracy questions. I looked at your Facebook page. Now I know why, um, like it was getting personal. It was really, really snotty. Now the guy was really asking hard questions, but he just wanted to know what's under there. I do too. Larry, the wing, wind, wind singer, wind singer therapies, $11 loves the channel. Uh, thank you for all the effort you put in. Are the amber glasses to help you hide from the black eyed children? I don't know if they'd work. I hope so. It looks like some amber glasses in the avatar there as well. Right? Uh, she's, she's hypnotized. She's hypnotized. So she's fine. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate that. The amber glasses are because I have the lights here. It's bright, it's a dark room, and I can't see the screen. So what I was watching, what I noticed like on the earlier live streams, I was doing a lot of this. <laughs> so there's a lot of forehead in the video. Cheek Clappa 69, giggity $5, love the show. I'm going to buy a Hecklefish mug since video got demonetized. Every time I type demonetized, that's what pops out of my head, Like I, because you're typing the word demon. If you want a hecklefish mug, you can get one of these don't be a sheep mugs. Those are those are hot off the press. 
Yeah, that's still warm. Check that. And remember, everything on the in the store is completely fistable. Dun dun, eleven dollars Canadian. Everything you said at the end of the episode couldn't be more true. I had to edit my comment. Wouldn't even let me send what I wanted to. Yep, the internet was made by the U.S. military. They still own it. Yep, they, and that's true. Military was created by DARPA. Maybe that's a video to do if I could find a fun twist because everybody everybody knows that, right? That DARPA created the internet. Like people know that, right? The Not Department of Defense that. got together with some colleges to create a way for information to be exchanged in case of a nuclear attack. It was a way you could take out one site, but information would find other ways to flow around. Everybody knows how that works, right? Not everybody knows that. I didn't Al Gore create the internet. <laughs> Walter Wright, is there a good show? Trust no one. Trust no one. Tony Huddleston, $10. Really love you and Hecklefish. Having myself a big old cup of hot cocoa from my You Can Fist This Mug burp. Oh, that was so unprofessional piece. It's really unprofessional to burp in the microphone. So don't do that. If you're trying to like learn how to do a live stream, this ain't the one to, to, to study. Matthew Quillen, Kian, Kijen, 669, giggity, love the episode. Plot twist. Mel's hole leads right to the airport's tunnels. The lizard people love it. I like the way you think, Matthew. You know, Mel's hole was, I, I think, fairly, I, I debunked most of it as much as you can, right? Like the, the, the baby seal fetus crawls out of the, the second hole and it's magic and it makes, it cures cancer and uh, birds don't want to fly near it. I mean, if you haven't watched the episode, I, this sounds bananas. Um, but if you haven't seen the Mel's Hole video, you need to watch the one. It's, it's definitely one of the weirdest stories. But I did find that property in, um, I get it was in Oregon, right? It was in Oregon. Um, it's in the right place. And it has all the right stuff that Mel talked about. It has the hole, which is kind of has a fence around it with the retaining wall. It's the right size. It also has the, the outbuildings on the property that Mel said were there. And he said one had collapsed and that's there. It's in the, it's in the pictures. Uh, people have gone to that location and said, it's not it because it's in the wrong place, but I don't know. It was pretty compelling. You know, I'm not saying I believe that that's, that's really Mel's hole. You know, people said it's a well. You know, they went, they looked in the hole. It's they said it's a well. So I'm not saying that's Mel's hole, but when you want to believe, the pictures were amazing. So Mel's hole, classic Art Bell story, and surprisingly popular on this channel. I didn't. That was an episode that I really didn't think anyone would would get into, but it's it's weird. I guess. I guess you like weird. Genesis, Genesis, Genesis. Swiss, Dennis Swiss Studios, $20. Jesse and Ori here. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Ori. Big love to you and the team. And Hecklefish, as always, thanks for the giveaway last week. Oh, that's right. You, you were a winner. Um, I need to get you Victoria's home number so you can check on that package. Totally manifested that. Uh, lizard people, and you, can't, you can fist this mugs on the way. And honestly, I don't know why anyone buys this. Uh, Jesse and Ori, I'm glad that you like it. I'm glad you bought it. Um, I don't know why. But someone asked for it, so um, so we delivered. Look, it's a great way to support the channel. Um, we keep the prices low, so we don't make a ton of money from it. But I would rather more stuff get out for people than hammer you for thirty dollars a t-shirt. That annoys me. It just I, I I can't I can't bring myself to do it. I'd rather just buy two. Um, by the way, if, and if you're new to the store. I, I, I'm not going to do too much promotion, but if you use that promo code that I just put in the chat, I think you get like 10% off everything. I think it's 10% off everything. Thanks, Jenna Suisse, Jenna Seuss, Jenna, Jenna. Uh, there's Jedi mind trick. Not knowing what you're allowed to say or do is a form of tyranny. Its goal is to weaken the resolve of the honest and it's effective, especially when you're, when your livelihood is based on it, because I can talk a big game all I want. But the bottom line is I need to do as I'm told. Otherwise, I don't get paid. And that sucks. But 
You know, I would rather I would rather make fun videos about weird stuff than take a stand. You know, uh, it's not why I'm here. This is, you know, I, I tell weird stories and I talk to a fish. I'm not here to make statements or make a stand. But I kind of slip them in there. Uh, Jason Barsetta, Barsetta Barquetta uh, for $20. Great work. Thanks for that. Thanks for supporting the channel. Very generous of you. I can't tell. I can't tell if that's a Jag or that's the Fer or is that the new that's Ferrari? Bentley. Is that the one with the wings? Oh, oh, it's a Bentley. Okay, very nice. It's a nice one. You keep your eyes to yourself. You don't. You, you I'm don't not need looking any. at a Bentley. Thanks, Jason. Chad Grossenbach. Bach. Grossenbach. Bach. Oh, hang on. Hang on. One of my producers is clicking a lot of stuff. Let me see what's going on. One of the producers is clicking away all over the place. I don't know who's clicking so much. She's probably dealing with stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry I clicked. <laughs> um, Chad Grossenbach. 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 Grossen. Shake it off. It's. I'm fine. I'm fine, Chad. I'm, you know, I'm going to be annoyed for a while, but I'm not really stewing because this has happened before. The first time it happened, that was, that was bad because I didn't know like, oh, it's, you know, the channel's crushed. I quit my job. You know, it was, it was scary. It was scary. Um, but it, this is, I think the fourth or fifth video this has happened to. So I know what happens. Don't make as much money for the month. Okay. The channel takes a little bit of a dive. Views and subscribers wise. Okay. But then if I make a few good videos, suck it up and do a couple of YouTube shorts, people will come back. But I'm glad you guys are here. I know that you're watching. Zeb Francis is here. I don't know. As, uh, everyone has seen, everyone has seen Zeb as Batman, I'm assuming, right? Um, I show you. And look, if you're not following the Wi Files on Twitter, Twitter, check it out. It's fun. Uh, no, come on, man. Oh, look, they, these these folks were, they said, hey, you should check this out. We're in front of a curious building in New York that has no windows. And look, that's an AT&T sponsored NSA listing post. No, really, because it is. That's the, the Titan Point building. All right, here we go. Hang on. Now, I wish you could hear the music. Because it's it's ominous and brooding, and but it builds to a crescendo of um, hope, culminating in. Amazing, Zeb. Um, just one thing. Don't skip leg day, man. Don't skip leg day. Hang on. Hang on. You can't being flagged. really see it, though, in the video that he's got on a wide files hoodie. I you know, and but I don't, I don't know what happens if I make it full screen because now I can't see myself. So I don't know what you see. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Um, maybe I could That's do amazing. Little, little zoom. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't like me doing that. And so he's, what is this? The Y Files, uh, the hoodie? Yes, he's wearing yes. a Y Files hoodie. Mm -hmm. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Is it this one? Yes. No. Uh, no, it's That's not that one. one. It's got a little Y Files on the, just on the little chest here. A little chest there. Amazing, right? Amazing. I it's was blown amazing. away. And when Gino forwarded to me, it was just a picture of Zeb on the roof with the cape blowing. And I was like, this is amazing. And then a video emerged with the music. 
funny. <laughs> and, and I this, love that. The the weather is perfect. I'm Zeb Francis. <laughs> He what a sport the child for us. us. Hang on, we can't let them over talk my plug. Want to support the channel? Patreon, Discord, Wi Files, shop merch. Great video again. Pretty sure I heard Mrs. Wi Files voice in there. Hmm? Next week, we can cover fairies and unicorns. You're fine, Victoria. It's fine. You're good. <laughs> um, what's your dog humping? Is that okay? You can't have that on the get, blur that out. You can't, we don't want to see that. It's not, it's not happening. Humping. On there, there's no humping. I mean, if that keeps up with her, this live stream is going to get a reputation for being unprofessional. Stop it. Uh, cover fairies and unicorns. <clears throat> People have asked for fairies. Uh -huh. It's on my list. And those are the little the things that live in the forest, right? Yes. It's not like um. No, move along. You, you, know, you know what I'm saying. Victoria gets it. Dickerson Designs, $10 demonetized or demonized? You're the best show on YouTube. They don't deserve you, but we, we do just keep up the good work. Kisses for Hecklefish from Cranford, New Jersey. All right, cool. Diggity bingo, human. I don't know where Cranford is, actually. But I have a lot of family in Jersey. What? What is this? Uh, thanks, by the way, Dickerson. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I mean, they're not canceling the channel. We're going to, we'll, we will bounce back. A silent dusk, $150. Hookah, chaka, hookah, 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 chaka, hookah, hookah. I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. You mean you just don't realize what your tips do to me? When you tip me, I can pay my bills and you make me tingle in my gills. Oh, your tips are amazing. And I think it's crazy that you send cash to me. <laughs> Got back just in time. Just in time, I was working on my Philosopher's Stone. Were you? Somebody was asking in the chats earlier if you're still working on it. I was working on my and I was able to get back in time because the prostate is cooperating tonight. So that's that's a plus. That's good. Sometimes the song comes on and I go in there to work on my Philosopher's Stone. And it's like, come on, little buddy. Come on. I'll make a note. I'll put it on the calendar. <laughs> prostate good. Just being sarcastic. It's not nice. New Purple Belt member plug, uh, member plug here. Uh, thanks, Silent Dust. Welcome to the family. Love how you're respectful to the subject matter. I trust your thoroughness in research. And though I'm sometimes bummed when things are debunked, I'd rather know the truth. With that in mind, have you considered the Seth materia? The materia um, that has come up a couple of times. I'm definitely looking into that because it was. Yeah, that's right. Uh, collection of writing. I think this is the one we're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. James Roberts' husband, Robert Butts. It's not funny that his name is Butts. Experimented with a Ouija board as part of Robert's research for a book on extrasensory perception. Yeah, that'd be fun. A couple of people asked for that silent dusk. Thank you for the generous tip. It's really helpful, especially demonetize and um, for supporting the channel, New Purple Belt. That's amazing. And um, if you're not in the Discord, go check it out. You have special perks in the Discord. And I think tomorrow morning, um, I'm doing a, a special live stream just for the Patreon members. By the way, before every premiere on Thursday nights at 5.30 Pacific, we do a, a Patreon member only uh, chat live stream in, in the Discord. And there's not that many people in there, so we can just hang out and everyone gets a chance to talk. But tomorrow, Friday mornings is what level Patreon members are. So, per, so Silent Dusk is invited. So Silent Dusk, so Purple and Above um, gets a special live stream tomorrow morning. And it's it's just, I think it's 9 to 9.30, but I think last week I went almost 11 or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, two hours. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think we're going to go that long tomorrow because we do have some stuff to do for the channel in the morning. But I try, I try and give everybody their money's worth. You do. Well, I try. Oh, oh, hang on. It was fun. Like, hang on. One of the producers is clicking. That was my fault. <laughs> oh. That was my fault. Step away. That was the, the first future. Was it me? That was me. Well, it's because you've got those w those Wendigo fingers. Or it's, it's hard to keep a. Yeah, those are. <laughs> those are scary. Uh, S D or five dollars. Keep up the good work. You appreciate. It. We appreciate you too. Um, I just I don't know who to appreciate in that photo. Because oh, I only want to. Awesome. Yeah, but which one do I appreciate? Because five dollars, I can only appreciate one of those people. Well, it's who a dollar per choose? person. One dollar per person. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. That math works. They all chipped in. They all chipped in. So just. Um, there's Sean Hoffman, $20. Demonet's at BS. Love your channel. Hope this helps. It does. Sean Hoffman. And I like your, uh, your avatar, your icon. You had words. Yes. Okay. I was just going to. Yes, I have words. I was just going to tell you that I have been unclicking as you read and you have 208. Super chats, and I have not called last call yet. Just letting you know. Wow. Well, fortunately, we don't have to do Applebee's tonight because I have some leftovers. Oh, good. Got a Caesar salad in there, but you know what happens to croutons after a day in the fridge? Right? They get soggy. He's going to like bready, bready, spongy. I Is this going like to answer more? I don't like croutons when like. You bite into them and they like break your teeth. Just saying. She's just saying. That's information that we needed to know. Uh, my channel, $10. Thank you for the super sticker, my channel. Very nice. Um, can you change your username on, on Google, on YouTube? We could change it from my channel, right? They're saying that you can. There's Jennifer Wilson. Four ninety nine. This episode was amazing. This has become my favorite Thursday night thing. Keep it up. Much love for the whole Waffle House team. Hecklefish for president. Speaking of, if you want to support his candidacy, you can do that by grabbing a Hecklefish for president mug at shop.thewafflehouse.com. Lizard people for 10% off. You can support your favorite YouTube channel and support this one. Thanks, Jennifer Wilson. He would never get elected because he tells the truth. He would also get demonetized. The Fantasy Files podcast. Damn. 1.84 million subscribers. Didn't you just cross 1 million like a couple of months ago? You deserve every subscriber for that. It's worth so happy for you guys. Hey, thanks, man. I think we hit a million um, just before the just before the new year. Yes. December, something like that. Like it was like December 27th or 28th. 26th, Victoria says. 26th? Yeah. Well, that's a Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, so the eight the 840 came on pretty quick, but um, it's, it's going to slow down a minute here. It's going to slow down just a, just a little bit. But that's okay. Nobody panic. Cargo on. Cargo conversion building camp. Uh, it loves to show dance. Get up and dance, Cargo on. I hope you dance uh, at the end of every episode. I took the dance out once, and it was revolution in the comments. Revolution. Mike Willis is here. My wife, Angela, said I should throw more money out since this is demonetized. Thanks, Mike. Your wife, Angela, is very nice and uh, very wise. So that really helps tonight. It really does. Uh, there's Danny Stormborn, longtime supporter of the channel. Danny and her dragons are here, currently buying merch. Thank you for that, Khaleesi. Farrar Drums, $10. Sorry to hear about the demonetization. Here's a little bit of green to help out. You've got guts, my friend. You and Hecklefish could fight a shark and win. Thanks for the Denver Airport show. Uh, we might have a shot, but I'd rather not test your theory for our drums, but I appreciate the support. It really helps. There's Ed uh, Kegron, Kegron, Kehorn, Kehorn, Kegron, Kegron. 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 Thank you for the $20. Kegron is what we're going with. Thank you for that, Anne of Cleves. Always good to see you in the chat. I appreciate that. I don't know what that is. Are those drachmas or those? What is she? What is she dropping in there? We looked this up before. Uh, honey, be with 
two lines. It <laughs> is the Philippine peso. Oh. <coughs> All right. Yeah. Philippine peso. Philippine peso. Thank you for those pesos, Anne of Cleves. Ken Weedauer, White Hour, ten dollars. Pretty sure it was your conspiracy theory wrap up, but it was great. Keep up the good work. You would think, Ken, but I don't think it was, um, because the, I don't think the AI would be able to read between the lines. Maybe it did, but certainly, if if someone of a certain type watched that video, they wouldn't like it. Clearly, of a certain type, you know who I mean. Penguin Wrangler, $10 myself, wife, and our dog, Abby, loves the show. I fly only once a year, and this year I have a stopover in the Denver airport in less than a month. They love Hecklefish. Oh, he loves you too, Penguin Wrangler. Most of this, the weird stuff in Denver airport's gone, though. I think the gargoyles are still there, and I mean, everything in the stone is still there, but uh, the murals, I think, are gone. There's Daniel Garman, a uh, big supporter of the channel. When you switch to Rumble, I'll watch you there instead of YouTube and continue my Patreon membership. Great job. That's nice of you to say, Daniel. I appreciate that. Uh, Aaron, 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 Aaron Saint for 499 demonetized. How irritating. Hopefully this will help. It does. It helps a lot. Michael Hale, reach out to Steven Crowder, become part of Mug Club. Uh, KP Fortressburg, 999. Love the show and a little something for German loving YouTube. All right. Well, Donka Shane, KP. Katie Salander's there. You deserve to be on mainstream TV. You're that good. My family loves you. And what a lovely family it is. You see, look at that. Just I look at do. their faces. Oh, look how cute. And what are, and they're fighting over that child? Are they trying to they are? Yes. Drag them? So that's like yeah. a that's like a custody thing, right? <laughs> or they yank on them like they a. They just like, happen to have somebody there taking photos. Right. So it's like Kramer versus Kramer. Yes. <laughs> All right. I hope they're not drawing and quartering that child. But they're not. It's their child. They can torture it if they want to. No, they can't. You can. Uh, go peril. Go peril. Go peril. Will you tell us the six in your Discord? Hmm. You think it's safe to talk about the conspiracies in the Discord? No. Oh, I would Discord. love it. Maybe. Well, D Discord is a platform that doesn't like that stuff. Right. At all. So yeah. maybe go power. Uh, I will give you hints. The thing is, you know what they are. Everybody knows That's the conspiracies just... that are that have come true. You know what right? I'm going to do right now? I'm going to call out. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to ease up on your opinions there, sport? Listen to Heckle. And it's 8.30, so it's getaway time. And we should... What the heck was that? Oh, that was Victoria. Okay. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> um, we should do a giveaway. And I'm going to do last call. Uh, we're going to stop taking Super Chats at 8.45. Well, I mean, we can still... Take the super chats. We just can't yes. read them. Yes. We're going to stop so if reading. They want to if they want to support the channel, I would let them do that. But Patreon's a great way to support the channel. It's as low as $3 a month. You get perks. We get to keep most of that money instead of YouTube, so that's great. The perks are like the live streams and all that stuff that we've been we've been fairly consistent on. Um, for as little as 3 bucks a month, that's really helpful. And um, if you buy merch, we don't get as much money from that, but it's cool to get something. Everyone loves getting something in the mail, don't they? Mm -hmm. They do. I do. You've got a cool package in the mail today. I opened it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> Holy schmoly. Sorry. Oh, it's giveaway time. What's going to be the word? Uh, I saw that, Victoria. You just got a huge, huge super chat. What's what's going on in the uh, in the chat? Who wants to, who's picking the word? Let's rune lady. Let's do rune lady. Oh, constip constipation. I, said, <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. 
I said demonetization. Demonetization. <laughs> but you do you. Demonetization. I think that's spelled right. That's okay, if you're uh oh, you can't see, can't see it. If you're new to this, here's okay. what you do: just type the word, just as it's spelled in the chat, and the system, whatever it is, is going to pick someone from random, and you'll win a fifty dollars gift card to the Wi-Fi store, which is a great way to support the channel. And um, and Victoria will come over and, and talk to you for a bit as well. I think she might even cook. Right? Is that what happens if they win? They come to Discord and put in a help desk ticket, <laughs> and I will get their name and email. Okay. And then we will send them a $50 gift card to the shop at thewifiles.com. But if they're in Victoria's neighborhood, then she would. No, she won't. Come by. Come on by. <laughs> no. Well, if you're in her neighborhood, you let her know, and we'll, we certainly can arrange that visit. That's not a problem. So demonetization, <laughs> make sure that you spell it right because spelling counts. And uh, uh, Oscar Gonzalez, uh, I don't think that's going to work, but it's very funny. <laughs> Maybe a call back to our backwards, uh, our backwards audio episode a couple of weeks back. Um, yeah. Jason May, all caps. I don't think caps matters, but if you're not sure, you just got to touch the one button to make it happen, <laughs> right? Yeah. So. Uh, demonetization victory come by local here. I think he meant Victoria. Rob wants Victoria to come visit. Oh. Well, if you're in her area, she'll come by. <laughs> no, she won't. For 20 minutes max. <laughs> you're crazy. We just got a $500 super chat, by the way. I know. I saw the chat going bonkers about it. That's super helpful. Whoever yes. did that. Nobnard. Nobnard. Was it Nobnard? Somebody said that. No, no, oh. no. Somebody <laughs> just said it. Um, been here Jason, man, what is this? What is this going to do to the algorithm? 10K demonetization in chat. I don't know, Jason, but now that you say it, we may have chosen poorly. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yellow Umbrella Homebrew. If you could read this, make. Me, a sandwich. Uh, if you live in Victoria's neighborhood, she can certainly come by and make you a sandwich. Um, you have to pay for the meats. She does not bring her own meats. <laughs> right? right? Uh, Jen, I'm right about that, right? She doesn't bring her own meats. Stop. Meats and cheeses Kitty. are on you. Kitty. Kitty. Um, but she does show up with a jar of Miracle Whip. I don't know why she does that. You're um, so awful. At least that's what she calls it. Gretchen Wieners. Stop it. See, I think Gretchen it's time says, to draw. I think it's time. Oh, is it time? Draw. Yes. Jason Valley's scared. Me too, uh, yeah, Jason. We'll, we'll use we'll do Miracle Whip as the next word. Don't worry. There's Pete, there's Billy, there's Laser, David Brooke, uh, Witchy, Mama B, Witchy is again, Taylor Moon, Patrick Judge, Land Crusher, Anthony S, Rose Driscoll, Matthew Allen. Yay! Matthew Allen's the winner. Um, someone in the chat said Victoria's husband is as mean as a cryptid. I'd be careful. <laughs> um, watch out. I'm trying to get it, but the, the chat moves fast. I love his avatar. Kitty. All right, so, so Matthew Allen will what reach out on discord, open a ticket and then, um, give me his name and email. email. Got you some, almost got there. Got some meats. Nice. There they go. All right. What's going on? Uh, hang on. It was too soon. It was too soon. Can you put up the uh, last call banner? Last call. Last call, y'all. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Cappy Cross, 1984, simply took a bit longer to arrive. LOL, great episode. Engine Co., ex Greenwich, Connecticut guy. Love Greenwich. Love Greenwich. Yeah, who who knew it would be here? But everything came to pass. Michael Feibig, 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 Michael F. As far as I'm concerned, you're the true heir to Art Bell. You have the same spirit and talent as he did. 
Um, that's very nice of you to say, Michael, but I'm not even in the same galaxy as Art. He's the best. Nancy J, 11 Canadian. Thursdays are your day. Any one of us that can't wait for the next episode will be here, even if they don't see the promo. I love this episode best of all. That's very nice of you to say, Nancy. And I'm counting on you to be there. So next week's going to be light. Next week's going to be light on the on the YouTube promo. Zuggeroth, $10, a humble contribution to offset YouTube weirdness. Although if you haven't looked into uh, it, you can use Streamlabs for tips. They don't take as much as YouTube does with Super Chats. And you're right, Zuggeroth, Streamlabs does have that. I stick with Super Chat to make it easier for you. So you don't have to leave the platform. So you can just kind of do it here. But as more and more people ask for it, maybe I'll just add it as an option if you want the creator to get more of the tip. I mean, I would. And there's a couple of streams that I watch that use Streamlabs exclusively. And um, and I'm happy to do that, you know, to make sure that more money goes into their pocket because I know how hard this is. But um, But I'm just trying to make it easy for you. Thank you for that support. It really helps. Doc Brewski's here. What about locals? Then we could pay to see videos. YouTube won't allow. Love the channel. Um, yeah, maybe, Doc. Just, um, you know, I'd rather Patreon than locals. You know, it's um, <clears throat> mostly just community-wise. Although locals has that stuff too, doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe I'll look at it. But um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to add another th another thing you have to pay for, you know? That's why I haven't activated memberships on the channel. Um, and people keep asking me to do that. Because, you know, a, another revenue stream, I get it. But first of all, we have Patreon, which is the same thing. And second of all, YouTube takes half the money. So, and YouTube has asked me to do it. You know, when I had a meeting with uh, my partner manager before he got fired, he said, everything you're doing is great. You should do more live streams and more uh, and and launch memberships because YouTube gets paid. So, nah, we and keep the food stuff going. They can't hold you down. I think that that's a typo and I think it might be a typo. Keep the good stuff going. Thanks for the support, we and we we and. Uh Jason Durham is here. You and your team bring such joy to my life. Each of you brings such joy to my day at work. Have you heard of the mysterious red rain in India that dumped tons of unidentified genetic material for months, still unexplained? So I talked about that a little bit at the beginning of the stream. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, about the water spouts. Um, but I appreciate the support, Jason. I think those two ladies are watching Netflix down there. Uh, there's Big Daddy PD. Uh, I feel tonight was the most sincere you've ever been on a topic and probably one of your best. So don't let it get to you. I'm okay. Big, big daddy PD. I'm okay. But I'm glad that you, that you see the sincerity because it was certainly there. And I tried to be careful. Weston Smith is here for $20. Are those boobs in the, oh, what's going on? It looks like, it looks like boobs in a pirate hat. Am I right? But, um, Ye oh, that's what it looks like. It right, looks like with, with an eye patch. Right, with the big areolas, leg. right? No, it's an eye patch. Oh, it, those are so that's not areola. No, <laughs> it might be a butt though. It's a butt or boobs. Yeah, booty, because it's booty, because it's pirate's booty. Pirates booty. Have you thought about going on Joe Rogan? Would be a good pairing, in my humble opinion, to help increase your viewership. Um, you know, Gino and I were on Joe's show a few years ago, and we talked about a bunch of weird stuff there, mostly about Graham Hancock's theories. We talked about uh, the origins of of LSD, and we talked about some weird stuff. I don't think I have. Oh, there it goes. That's from a few years ago. I just put that in the chat, Weston. There's a link to the uh, Gino and I on Joe's show. BG, $20. I have shared your channel to so many friends. I hope it's somehow. I really appreciate that, BG. I spread the channel like a venereal disease. Shannon Aguilar, $10. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you for your tip, Shannon. And Shannon can be a man's name? Yes. Okay. I'm just asking. 
I was just asking. I didn't know that. Yes. All right. So that's it. Asked and answered. Sydney Greer is here. Great show. DIA has oh, fascinated me. I think there's something to it. Maybe it's terribly sinister, but some, I, there's definitely something going on down there. Um, she being mauled by this dog in this photo? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the puppy's giving her a kissy. Kissy. Ooh. I got to make this large. It looks like she's being mauled. No. She's not. We got to put that dog down. Uh, epi 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 for $10 top shelf content. Your premieres bring a lot of excitement. Great episode. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks for showing up tonight. Panic Boy. It's not much, but I hope it helps make up for the demonetization. Every little bit helps, Panic Boy. It really does. So I appreciate it. Um, no one should feel bad about, you know, hey, this is all I can afford. Don't look, if, if, if money's tight, don't, don't donate. Remember, YouTube gets half of it. If money's tight, just, just I'm just glad you're here. And show up next week because it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for a couple of weeks. Sean Christensen, uh, can we get I'm strict but fair Lord Hecklefish merchandise? I'm going to relent mm -hmm. and give in and finally do this for Sean. Uh, Sean, the reason that we haven't, are you getting excited down there? The reason that we haven't is because. The Strict But Fair Lord is a bit from a commercial. It was from established titles. A of all, so it's a sponsor that we're going to make merch. Basically, they're not giving us any money for that. And second of all, established titles turned out to be a bit of a of a thing, <laughs> a bit of a shit show. There was some drama with it. Although, I don't know how you guys feel, but I think, I think we may hey, bring them back. I say do it. Look, if we're going to get demonetized, we may have to bring them back. I would do it. Victoria agrees. What she says goes. So look out for that, Sean. Lally Kato, Koto, Kato. Hey, uh, please tell Hecklefish I have a pretty angle girlfriend for him. He's a heartbreaker, uh, Lally, Lally, Lally Kato. But he is looking for his next uh, ex-wife. So... Um, he, I, he's on, he's on C harmony. So have, have her look out for him on there. I don't, I don't know what his name, his username is on C harmony though, but, uh, I we'll get back to her on that. Mandalar 42. Thank you for the uh, 50 bucks. That's amazing. Um, we Y files are behind you all the way. Here's a little something to take this thing out. It does. My family drops everything on Thursday to binge on the shows. Thank you and your family. Thank you and your family, Mandalore 42. Disappointed with Mandalorian season three, though, huh? Ooh, ooh! Thank God we have Picard season three to make up thank for it. Thank God we had Picard. Picard. Now she's sorry. being sarcastic, and it's and it's mean, and it hurts my feelings. I'm sorry. <laughs> it does not. Because she doesn't it watch doesn't the sci-fi. I watch some of it. But if Picard had a big boil on his back and someone would cut into it and lance it and pull out goop and pus, would you watch that? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> she would watch that. Now, if Picard had the grossest ingrown toenails with fungus and skin and they had to slice away the, the funk, would you watch that? Yeah. <laughs> if somebody was cutting Picard's lawn, I would watch that. Clean. It's like if the Enterprise... Had a bunch of dirt and they were vacuuming up the enterprise. So she yes. would watch that. And you know, it's not all adventures in space, right? At some point, the enterprise has to go and like dry dock or whatever, and they, they got to tidy up. So Jen would watch that. She'd watch Guinan clean the bar. Kayla, Kayla Lee Frant, Frant, Frant for $10. Our family appreciates the hard work every week and are big fans. My husband loves Hecklefish for president, loves his Hecklefish for president shirt. And we have a couple of friends who now watch the channel. Thank you for that, Kayla Lee. Um, I think we had, yeah, is that one? I thought I brought a couple of other ones to show you, but um, you know, he can fist that shirt as well. It's just, it's not as fun because it doesn't make that sound when it pops out. Uh, Carolyn Smith, Carolyn's Food Forest and Homestead. The Masons lay the cornerstone of a building. That is another reason why they had a dedication stone. That's true. That's true. That's, you know, why, why 
people are asking, why are the stonemasons do, doing stonework? I think we know why. Matthew Moeller's here. Blame the crab cat for the demonetization. Still a rock solid episode. I'm glad you thought so. It's a shame that we're the only ones who are going to see it, but I'm glad that you enjoyed that one. Josh Zombie, could you do a video on Project Discordia? I don't know that one. Let's see what he's on about. Hang on, hang on. I got to get to the right uh, thing. Yep, there we go. All right. So what did you say it was, Josh Zombie? Project Discordia, is that right? You spell it right? Because I don't think it's a, it's not a GitHub, right? It's not a repository. A repository, that's code, right? That's not the thing that goes in your butt. No, that's a repository is a, a place with information. Oh, it's a suppository. I mean, I, I guess that could be your butt, but that's not what we're talking well, about here. It, but whatever Josh wants to put in his butt is his business, right? We don't stop. <laughs> So I can't find anything on that, Josh, um, which is a good sign. So you uh, put that in the tips line uh, and email me that. We'll definitely look into that. Blackbeard is here, longtime supporter of the channel. Hello, just watched the first Terminator for the first time all the way through and instantly realized it's becoming a reality. That's true. That's true. How, how, you how can you just now be watching the Terminator? That doesn't. That just doesn't feel right. Matthias, Mattis, 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 Big M, well, Fortnite loves the channel, but you should be happy when you're demonetized. It means you touched a nerve with NSA. I'm in YouTube. I know a lot of people have said, you know, if you're demonetized, it means you're doing something right. No. I mean, I, from your perspective, yes, that's fine. And I want you to be happy, but you know, I got a wife who likes shoes. There's new master 69 giggity for two Australian. As Mr. Stone said, truth seeking is not conspiracies. I agree, man, but you know, not everyone thinks the way we do. Unfortunately, wretched Bob. Good to see you. I think they demonetize it because of you talking about when it happens, we will be standing up to them. Also F is the letter for them. Keeping my happy slash surprise face pick up for you. I, I do like that pick Bob. Yeah, they don't. They don't like. They don't like hearing that we would stand up, but um, but we would, and I could tell by your picture that you would as well. Charles, nineteen ninety nine, long live Hecklefish. Seriously, great work. Look forward to these premieres and continue to support on Patreon. Thanks for your support, Charles. I hope you're having fun on Patreon. There's Melissa Taylor. Hope this helps. It does. It really helps, Melissa. There's uh, oh Bailey Redwine Terry's back. $49.99. So upset this got demonetized. Unfortunately, this happens too often. I always feel like you can't possibly top your previous videos, but you do so every time. Would love to see one with your take on the Freemasons. Okay. We'll do that. I mean, I, we put that poll in the in the premiere chat and it wasn't helpful. You know, who wants to see? It was 90, it was what, 90, 97% said yes. Thank you for that, Bailey. Amazing. Bailey, is that, I'm saying that right? She's nodding. Uh, Epiturd, $20. Uh, that's What are you laughing at? That's not funny. How dare you? You're making fun of him? I'm not making fun of him. She's making fun of his name. How do you say it? <laughs> that's exactly how it... That's how do you it say it? Like. it? Go looks, ahead. It looks like Epiturd. Well, I'm sorry, Epitur, that she's making fun of your name. It's not nice. Great episode. Uh, the 100-mile tunnel to Cheyenne Mountain makes no sense, though. Can't they just fly into Cheyenne Mountain? You can't fly in there. You you, you can only go through the through that main tunnel through the giant, giant door. But, uh, yes, that's part of the, the conspiracy that there's a 100 miles. It's 93, 94 miles from uh, Denver Airport to Cheyenne. It would be the largest construction project like ever conceived to do it. And uh, really, so probably not, but fun to think about. But like under the White House and um, 
under the White House, there's tunnels that go all over the place down there, not just under the under the house, like quite quite far away from the property, but nobody knows exactly where. Uh, Hart Ponder, 999, in debate, we learned skeptics are wrong less often. That's certainly true. CG, thank you for the $35 to help with being demonetized. Also, we'll buy the No Sheep mug. I mean, just call it no, she no Sheep Till Brooklyn. That'd be a fun one. Thank you for that, CG. I really appreciate the support. Crosstown Cord, 20 Australian. For a split second, when I flicked across to the live stream, I thought that Bono was guest hosting. I can't believe I never noticed the resemblance. You notice the resemblance? I I see more Iron Man than Bono. Bono. So, Victoria sees Bono. Victoria is getting tired down there. She's getting, she's getting a little tired. Yeah. There she goes. Uh, Droluck underscore. One of the murals had a lot of similarities to The Last Supper. You might be, I think you're talking about, are you talking about the kids? With the the German boy, but there was the other one that was they were focused around some. Oh, I could just find it. They were focused around some glowing something. Denver Fort murals. So it, this one, I guess that could see Last Supper there, right? Right. I think that I, I like this one for Last Supper more than the others. It's definitely not that. I don't think it could be that. But there, there's this one. This is this is the the mural that you don't see much of because it's not that exciting. But it's it's pretty wild, man. But it's not as dark, so no one covers it, right? We gotta we gotta massage it. We gotta make it entertaining. So I think I think Droluk, it's that that first one we looked at. I could see Last Supper there. Adam Burke, how much info out there with the Chinese weather balloon and the classified status? Not I can't find much info on that, Adam. If you can email me, that's one that I'm, I wouldn't talk about. Christoph Lehman, thirty three thirty three. That's the magic number. That's the Mason number. It looked like you just got cat slapped in the face down there. I did. I just got tail slapped. With the tail. Are you all right? I'm good. She's I'm good. good. She's good. Um, yeah, we'll use... Oh, I just noticed the avatar is fantastic. Yeah, 30, 33 is is one of the most fun parts of the uh, of the legend. It's, the 33 is everywhere. Like um, in... It, in St. Peter's and like in the square in Michelangelo square, there's 32 pillars plus the central obelisk is 33. Like there's a bunch that have to do with the Pope. Like there's, he's got 33 buttons on his, what does he get? His apron, his robe, whatever he wears. Pope robe. Embo 56. Thanks for all your videos. It's a shame. Some subjects are prohibited. It is. Bo Shiesty theoretical. View YouTube panders too, and is ultimately controlled by Masons and their ideologies. I feel bad for you. Uh, you picked a really stressful genre. Love the channel. Don't be too disheartened. I'm gonna be okay, Bo. I'm gonna be okay. There's Eric is back again. Maybe YouTube has a thing against plane travel, anti 9 11 stuff, anti this stuff, absolute insanity, the amount of censorship that runs rampant. Mm -hmm. It is, but there's not much we can do about it. Not in the short term. It's changing a little bit. Soccer Jack 999. I wonder if the demonetization was because the episode went away from Freemason lizard people conspiracies and talked about the potential connection to the Greenbrier bunk in that bunker that did it. I don't think so. You know that Greenbrier Hotel is forty seven hundred dollars a night. What? Mm hmm. That's crazy. And you don't even get to stay in the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if you saw it, you wouldn't want to stay in the bunker because like oh, the, room, know, but the room, there's like giant spas and massage areas and I don't care. 
how nice it is. How much is it a night? Over 4700 4, last I saw. They, there's a bowling alley in the hotel. Um, you can yes. skeet shoot. I mean, it looks fun. But well, fun is one thing, but $4,700 a night? That's crazy. That's crazy, she says. She's not wrong. Possum Holler. Haven't seen the seen the it, but love your work. You haven't seen the episode, Possum? Haven't seen it, but you you stick around for this? This is not a professional thing. King James, we all know who's really calling the shots worldwide, and it's not our elected officials. Please keep exposing the truth. We got your back. Thanks, man. And uh, and you're right. Scotty Hayden is there. His wife else taking a look at the Great Pyramid K. 2019 site. I have not. Great Pyramid K. Okay. What do we what do we got, Scotty? All I'm seeing is this is this film directed by Femi Krasniki. Kras well, send it to the tips line or email me or both and I'll look into that. If it's about pyramids, I'm, I'm into it. Shane Swenson, 9999. Chippity doo da, chippity. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of money coming my way. Tippity doo ja, tippity a. Thanks for that support, Shane. I hope you enjoyed that that song just for you. Edward Chalt, 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 Chaltron, Edward C. I never heard this much about DIA before. Just a Midwesterner without a clue. Thanks for the clue. You're welcome. It's okay to be about uh, without a clue is peaceful. Uh. There's Joe P. What, what what was the name of hi, hi, hyper 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 trichosis? No, no. Uh, no. People with too much hair. I love the beard. I love the beard. Uh, does does Mr. Victoria have a beard? No. But you'd like him to have one like this, wouldn't you? I would love that. Yes. Yeah, it's hypertrichosis. Hypertrichosis. There it goes. There she is, the Mrs. Encyclopedia. Great episode. You really knocked it out of the park. So sorry they demonetized the video. It's okay. It's not fair. Life ain't fair. I wish there was more we could do to help. Please know that you are appreciated. You are appreciated, Joe. And that um, supporting the channel that way is amazing. John Jensen. Oh, that, that looks like the Constitution class, doesn't it? Um, I mean, it looks like the Enterprise. I don't know the difference between the ships in Star Trek, but that's... Like, you don't know what a Defiant is. class or Intrepid class? No, I liked the movies. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, this is torture for us. <laughs> I know. Voyager class? Oh, God. The USS Hood? Well, you said it. What it was? Wolf a, three five. The Battle of Wolf three five nine. None of this rings a bell. No. Girls, another great episode. One of my absolute favorite YouTube channels. I love that you present both sides of a story instead of just pushing one side. I'm glad that you appreciate that, John, and I'm glad you notice it. I just try to find everything I can. I mean, I'll slip my opinions in there, but not really about the stories themselves. Those are really up to you to decide. If I can. Fine. If I can debunk something, I will. It, you know, if firmly, it needs to be. I need to firmly debunk it. Like, like if Phil Schneider says this and it's not true, I gotta tell you that. But if I can't find an answer, then I try to be honest about that with you as well. Like, look, I can't. I don't know. It, I lizard people could be. Claire Brown, five pounds, sending much love from Manchester in the UK. All right, go man you. Uh, it's 2.45 here, but I don't care. She doesn't even care. She doesn't care. Claire is a rebel, and she will stay she up, is. and she will watch this as long as you stay on. 
And she knows that we're big fans of Man United at the house. Yes. Uh, Andy Lehman, thank you for the forty nine ninety nine. Long live Hecklefish. He loves Hecklefish's work. Thanks, Andy. That's very generous of you. Appreciate it. And three AZ, AZMO, AZ, AZMO, big fan from Kuwait. I uh, love your videos. Keep up the good work, bro. Thanks, bro. Very generous of you. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. It really helps, especially tonight. Scooby Clark. Tacos. I love the avatar. It's like a well, steampunk cat. A steampunk cat? Is that what that is? Yeah. nonsense this is this is not professional at all madison five dollars used to work at dia there is so much that is weird about that airport it's very strange you should tell us what you know madison you tell us what you know ruin lady made you look she did <laughs> cackle you cackle i did that's fantastic He's cackling. yes <laughs> Just cackling. Christina Sly, 49. I absolutely love the show. Wait every Thursday for the premiere. Keep up the great work. Shout out to Christina, my lovely wife. Hubby on her account, LOL. Let, go through her uh, watch history. Let's see what see what she's looking at, right? You sh shouldn't the husband check out her watch history? No, he shouldn't. See what's in there. You go up to, uh, it's on the upper left. You click under the- Stop it. David Roach, um, I have to talk about this real quick. He said he inspired me. We've inspired him to start the How Files, and are we cool with that? And unfortunately, David, we actually already have that. We're doing that. So, what? I, I don't see what you're reading. What? David starting the How Files? Yeah, he asked if we were cool with that. Him and a frog. But sorry, David. Sorry, David. We already got that one. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, but I'm glad that you're inspired. Uh, you check out Christina's watch history. You're, you'll be surprised. JD Wilder likes the shades. Thanks, JD. Possum hollers back with another 50 bucks. That's very nice of you. Yana Rut Neary. Dude, I will continue to spread your word in my conspiracy theory class. Thanks, man. Spread it. There's Justin Watkins, 999. I'll send it to the tip line, but have you heard the theory that Joan of Arc never existed? I have heard that. That was propaganda to rally the people to fight off the English. She's here of mine, so I hope she was real. Yeah, I've heard that. There's, um, it could be a good video to do some people that are possibly mythical. Like Joan of Arc, Charlemagne, Jesus. Uh, Robert McClelland, thank you for the 1999. Very nice of you. Odd Couple 1993, we really enjoy this show and love the channel. Fear the Crab Cat. That should be a coffee mug, a fistable coffee mug. That was actually a little tight on the fist now that I insert it in there. But, you know, that's okay. I mean, it, it, the mug is a little tight around the fist. It's fine, right? Blackbeard, $5. I remember he used to have a panda next to Hecklefish. How's he doing these days? That's Space Panda. He's back there. But um, we, we gave him a, a screen test, and he, he, didn't, he didn't do very well. But thanks for supporting Blackbeard. Longtime supporter of the channel. Silent Dusk is back for $100. <laughs> I'm a goldfish. In a steel boat, I swim. I want it, want it. I want it, a tip. I want it, want it. I want it, a tip. Silent Dust says some uh, shekels for the till. <laughs> Beep, big brother. Keep rocking. Love you guys. Thanks for the shekels for the till, man. At Silent Dust, that's someone who watches and listens. Sarah, WD. Loves watching the videos. I appreciate the support. And it really, it, all this support really helps. It really does. I appreciate you guys coming out, hanging in there as long as you have. For a 
a live stream that's not professionally done at all. Chris Continuum, uh, Continuum 999, Killer Croc in the bowl tonight. Finally, someone, uh, there was a lizard person in the bowl. No one mentioned it the whole time. Lizard person was in there. <laughs> did you see the lizard person in there, Jenny? I did. We were talking about it in the chat and people were trying to figure out what, what it was. They knew it was like a lizard person of some sort, but they didn't know if it was from something like if it was a, you know, a beast from some movie or what exactly it was. So people did see it. Just saying. Uh, Killer Croc on the bowl tonight. Also, R2, R2 is on the shelf back there. And if you like one six Star Wars, I'm making something cool. I can send you uh, anything Star Wars. Go ahead and send it, Chris. Especially if it fits back there, I'll put it up there. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but that's an emerald tablet that's now on the set back there. It's heavy, too. Uh, Bernard, Chies and Ch Bernard C. 10 Canadian, great episode, shared on Twitter and Facebook, sending tip of Shag Harbor, Nova Scotia, UFO incident, which involves Canadian and U.S. navies. Yeah, I'd like to read that, Bernard. We're due for a, a UFO story. Genesis, 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 Genesis Studios, um, thank you for the generous tip. And now I see why you said pass on the Sumerian king's list and, and Gnostic Ar archons being the base of every religion religion's pantheon stay tuned for our way easier to say mystery comic book channel coming in a few weeks love to you jen victoria and gino now right, we'll look out for that um it's got to be easier to say than Genesis. just genus genus sweet maybe it's french christopher landon would you do a story on the phoenix lights you guys rock and bring joy to all of us i i i just would need more in there christopher than just the phoenix lights which is a great story especially because there's a bunch of video to look at. And um, and the mayor's weird press conference where the guy came out, his chief of staff came out dressed like an alien. Do you remember that? It, it's the, it was so weird. The mayor uh, the f mayor of Phoenix like believed in the story and was making calls, trying to find out what the Phoenix lights were because they were there for a long time. Um, and then word kind of got around that he was looking into it and people just ridiculed him. So then it's like, suddenly it's, he's not, now he's going to make fun of it. Right. Like tonight's episode. If we, we just, just make them feel stupid. So people just made him feel stupid. And then suddenly it's like Phoenix lights were nothing. And he has his chief of staff come out with, uh, an alien mask and like a whole alien suit. Um, let me see if I can find the lights, lights, this conference. And I don't know if we'll be able to find it. That's kind of a crappy version of it. I gotta get I gotta get uh, YouTube uh, premium on, on this for you. Uh, do do do. That's not it anyway. So he's. I think that's part of it there. So, so he gives a press conference. People are asking him seriously about the Phoenix lights. And he says, well, you know, we looked into it and we actually have someone to come talk about it. And the chief of staff comes out in the full, here it is. This is the one. Oh my goodness gracious. Sign in, continue reading. It's like, you just want to click on a video. So this is the mayor. I think he's, yeah, in his older days. And now he's back to kind of believing the story, kind of. So this is him giving the press conference. He's very serious about it. And there's, that's that's how he did it. And it's like, yeah, it's funny. I get it. But we also were, had a question because for hours, there's lights above the city going from California to Tucson for hours. There they are. And your response is that guy. Yeah, I get it. That is funny, but can we get to the question? Which, you know, he didn't answer. 
And only one person on the city council cared about the story. Uh, so she wanted to talk about it and she wanted to like petition the mayor of the state to look to investigate him further. And she was laughed out of the council. And that was it. She was done. End of her political career. Um, and they started calling her like, I don't know, C Counselor E.T. or some stu some like it gave her a nickname. It stuck. And that was the end of her career. Richard K. Letale, a little alien. Here is for your loss. Thanks, Richard. I don't, I don't know, hope I wasn't whining too much about the money. Because I don't want it to be about that. I'm mostly frustrated that that it, it hurts the channel and, and I don't know specifically why. Christopher Mays is back. Would love to see an episode on Freemasonry, but if you do, please don't cut out our role in the American Revolution. Of course not. You couldn't. Marquis de Lafayette was a Mason as well. It's George Washington, all those guys. And um, if you believe it, which I do, the, all of Washington, D.C., the city planning has a bunch of Freemason sim symbology in, in the planning of the city. And you can see the obelisk everywhere, you know, all that stuff. B Herb 76, uh, do your show, uh, do your next show on the YouTube algorithm. Make it absurdly steeped in conspiracies to the point of ridiculousness. Fight them with sarcasm. I like the way you think. And instinctively, I agree. Like to just go over the top. But the, the algorithm you know, doesn't have a sense of humor and the algorithm doesn't understand sarcasm. So we would just get crushed. And, and it's, when that happens, it's hard to bounce back. It takes a little while. Is Gino, Gino's fading? Yeah, Gino's, he's fading. This is, this is what we do on Thursday nights. We go, we go, we go long and hard. I'm right here. I'm not fading. What's the matter with you? Nothing. We it, it, we go for a long time, and it's it's difficult to do. I know exactly what you meant. I was wondering if you're planning a show. This is Todd Forsyth. I'm planning a show about possible comet strikes during the Younger Dryas. Graham Hancock and Randall Carson talk about it extensively. Already sent to the tips line. Uh, maybe Todd. I talk about the Younger Dryas a lot on the channel, so I need to bring something new. What could be fun is to talk about how maybe. It wasn't an impact, but um, but possibly an extreme solar event, which is another interesting theory. So, because um, when there's a comet strike, things get cold; they don't get hot. So that's that's another theory. But younger dry is fascinating subject, and uh, and we'll keep bringing it up. Maybe uh, I'll do a whole episode on it. I'd have to think about how to approach it. But maybe tie it into the into the flood myth makes sense. I feel like I covered that a lot, but um, but it's something I would watch, you know. So so if I would like it, then maybe you would too, Todd. Triple, triple, triple helix, amazing content. Keep persevering. You've got tons of support. I know you guys are amazing. This is Saint Peter for two twenty Canadian. I'm a fish and I'm a star So put more dough in my jar The type of vodka that I need Is Belvedere And we're back to, um... Safety. I need oh. to buy a tinfoil hat So please click the super chat we all know the government is listening. <laughs> Wonderful episode and company. I enjoyed the unknown facts and agrees that DIA is a very weird place. Uh, have you flown through there, uh, Jenny? Uh -uh. Uh, Gina, have you been through DIA? Yeah, I have. I, I checked out all all that stuff while while I was there. Um, I saw the the murals before they were taken down. Yeah, and what about the um, uh, was the talking gargoyle there when you were there? He was a kind of a later. Uh, I think I went into a. I think I went into a different. Uh, I looked for that, but I didn't see that. So I, I that might have been a different. You know, 
uh, flying into a different, um, you know, part of the airport uh, wing. What what do they call terminal? <laughs> All right. Whoops. There they go. Uh, James Contrell, um, five dollars. Love the new mug. Bought one and hate how YouTube can decide who lives and who dies. Like their headquarters is in Denver. Yeah, I mean, there you have to bend the knee. The secret vault is there. When eight get demonetized, I re-upload and the dumb algorithm lets it through. That's interesting to think of secret vault. Um, I tried I tried that with, with a copyright video and it didn't work out that well. Um, so I would re-upload this if I knew what the issue was. So, you know, I can don't say swastika a bunch of times. All right. So we take it out, we change it to some stupid word and then it gets hit again. So, you know, they tell you that just be the video is demonetized and there's, there's one, there's at least one offense. So it says that when someone manually watches the video, as soon as they hit an offense, it's demonetized. And YouTube says there could be multiple offenses in the video, but they don't, Tell us what they are. So I can go after myself. Jeff B. Harry, have you ever looked into the supposed weather altering facility called Harp? I have. That's a, that's an urban legend that's been around for a long, long time. It's one that people have asked for. And maybe they'll, what? Why are you shaking your head? What urban legend? What do you mean urban legend? They're controlling uh, uh, the weather. There's there he goes. He's got a lot of thoughts on Harp. Um, controlling the weather and they're controlling minds as well. It's a mind control broadcast device. Yep. And uh, you wanted to weigh in? No, I said he's not going to talk now because you're just going to. Just going to give him a hook. You're going to give him the old hook. Like yeah, but with, with, the, with the stories like Harp, it, you, you pull Gino's string and he'll. Yes. He'll give us all the info. Well, that's good. All right. Well, if they in the chat, if they want you know to, to talk about harp, we'll pull them on there. Um, in the meanwhile, there she goes. In the meanwhile, we, we are gonna do that story. I guess I'll have to do it very carefully. I don't want to say anything too. Is that are you yawning down there? Yes, I was Quantum Sledgehammer's back. I'm in the hierarchy of who gets to be in a survival shelter with maximum capacity. Where do YouTubers fit? I'm in insurance. I rank just above serial killers. Uh, we don't fit anywhere, man. We're gonna be. We, we got to fend for ourselves. Chris Phantom Five or Five Fifty Canadian. Uh, do you have a Telegram channel? Thanks for all you do. I do not. I do not. And um, and I follow a couple of Telegram channels and I use it for work. But there's a telegram scam going around YouTube, which has hit this channel pretty hard. So I don't want there to be any confusion. So it's, so if you see a comment from me responding to you, that that looks like me saying, come to my telegram channel. Cause you won something. It's not me. So it's very easy for me to say to people, if someone from tell, if I don't have telegram, I'm not on there. So don't click anything. I don't want to start a channel, which would make sense for us. Right. I don't want to start a channel and have there be confusion with the scam going around. And that's not me. Don't click it. Crystal Metherson. <laughs> this is the one that she looks methy, right? It, yes. She's got hairy legs and. Oh, she got hairy legs too? And she's got, I guess, meth sores. I don't know. It's hard to tell. You're making a face, huh? Well, yeah. That's Jenny. Jenny hates meth. Hates it. Love this episode, even though my teeth are clenched and I'm itchy. So sorry, YouTube did this ass hats. Love hecklefish so much, Crystal. Don't clench. Don't clench. Just go, just clean something. It'll, it'll, it'll pass and eat something for sure. Ron Klotzer is here. Everybody look at Ron Klotzer. Got to look, got to look at his avatar. He looks surprised. Or dead. <laughs> Only one fascinated Lucky. by this human's picture. Another great show helps people get some... my chronic severe pain when I watch. Well, that's oh, nice. Well, you're making fun of him and he has chronic severe pain. We now didn't I make fun bad. of anyone. I didn't make fun of him. 
well. Do you? Anyway. Did you? If I did, I apologize, Ron. I'm sorry. Ron, uh, I apologize for her. She's she's rude that way. She's heartless. Uh, Greg, don't Greg D. Love the chair drop in at the start of each episode, especially when it's higher than normal. Maybe drop in from off screen sometime. That would be fun. Got to think about how to do that. Is it higher than normal sometimes? I try to keep that consistent. I there are outtakes of the chair of like chair malfunctions where it like goes down. There's one of me just falling out of it. But I, you know, I'm not I'm not secure enough with myself to let you see that. At least, but I'm I'm getting close. We'll put that on the backstage channel. Just chair malfunctions. Billy Bub four five fifty. What with what the Prime Minister of Canada is doing? Soon we may not be able to view your content. That's true. That's true. Jesse Hicks is back. Thanks for doing Denver Airport though. Such a good episode. And on a personal request of mine. Cool. Also, Dippin says hi. Dippin. Dippin. His wife is not attractive. I got, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to say, I know it's rude, but she's just not pretty. I heard she spits too. That sounded. Did you hear how filthy? Did you hear how filthy? <laughs> I was making a camel joke. Camels spit. That's. And he's got a camel. No, no, right no. no. We, we, we get it. Just didn't know that we were going to do that kind of show tonight. We're not. <laughs> we're not. All right. That concludes the oral sex portion of the evening. And Mr. Juan T for $5. Discovered you guys last week and watched all your videos already. So you got a fan in me. You got a fan, fan in me. In me. You got, you got a fan in me. me. I don't know the rest I of the words. I don't know the rest of the words. You got a fan in me. Uh, it's nice oh, to have God. a fan, Mr. W Mr. Juan T. And thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, she's we'll let her do her own thing. Ryan Darty's back. Great content as, as always. Please check out Death Valley Dreams on YouTube. Got to check out Death Valley Dreams on YouTube. We'll check it out right now. Here's Ray J, $20. Have you considered flashcards for the taboo words? Hmm. You're onto something there, Ray J. That could be fun. But we have to make the cards fun. I wonder if that would sneak through. It might. I'm not sure if it's the words. See, this is what drives you nuts. We can do the flashcards and still get hit. James LeBeau, do you plan on covering the Travis Walton case? I'm looking into that one. There's just not a lot and not enough there, in my opinion, for a whole episode. But if you think so, then remind me on the tips line and um, I will do it. But I'm looking into that one. Now, this is the, the <laughs> exercise. There's Jackson Cagle. Thank you for $5. Team, go wife house. I appreciate that. Uh, for $10. You talked about the trial run and censoring of people telling true stories. You pissed some higher ups off. Maybe. Um, but if I did, that's a shame, isn't it? Have you seen Chris Ramsey's latest video? He's also very frustrated with YouTube right now. I think you two might be able to help each other. I don't know who that is. We can look him up over here. Chris Ramsey. Uh, oh yeah, he's got some. He's got some. I don't know who he is, so I don't want to click too aggressively. But the truth about my channel one day ago. I want to talk about a few things in my video. I'm burning out. I'm going to run through. I'm just going to talk about a few things that is going on. Tell me what I'm feeling. All right, I, I won't do all that for you now, but I, I, I'm interested. 
but I never heard of him. And it's 7 million subscribers. So someone's heard of him. I'll check that out, Jesse. There's Jim Verney. Chin up. Maybe we can do the questionable topics on Rumble. I realize this might be a ton of work to do both. It would be too much work to do both, Jim. But um, but we're, we're, there's a little bit of light at the end of this uh, this tunnel. Uh, Jeremy Shorter, $15. Another great episode. Sorry to hear it got demonetized. Re -demon -demon -demonetized. Got my Fear the Crab Cat mug all safe and sound. I use it at work. Everyone loves it. That's awesome. I'm glad that you're spreading the love at work. There's Greg Mikulski. When does Hecklefish get his own episode? Lizard people. He did his own short, and it 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 flopped it flopped hard. But he but he did it. Thanks for supporting the channel, Greg. There's Silent Dusk for another hundred dollars. Yo 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 yo, moo la la. Yo yo, fish really need some money. I need to buy some stuff. Fish really need some money. YouTube don't pay enough. Fish really need some money. So click the super chat. Like that, that, that. That. In all your research, what was the number one? Sorry, I don't want to interrupt her. In all your research, what was the number one thing you were most disappointed to discover? was not true. Love you guys. I don't know. You know, I, I go into the stories assuming they're not true. But I don't I don't mean that from like a debunker's perspective. Like I don't go in with a closed mind. Like I go in, like I've heard the stories of lizard people under the Denver airport, so I go in assuming that that's n not true. So what often happens is going in more skeptical is I actually turn around like with the hollow moon, the the moon being a hollow spaceship, I thought was crazy. I thought it was the craziest conspiracy. And then after researching it, I was like, yeah, the moon's definitely hollow. So, um, so I don't know which ones that I thought were true and turned out not to be. Yeah, I can't think of any. I'm just, just scrolling through these. Yeah, just a few of them turned out to be true. Silent Dusk. You know, Silent Dusk w w wearing out the Amex tonight. Jenna Squeeze, Jenna Seuss, Jenna Seuss Studios. All five boroughs here too. New York City, baby, great episode. Have wanted to see your take on this for a hot minute. Learn some new things. Psyop Gargoyle can't compete with Hecklefish. Ryan, Ryth, Ruth, Ruth, Ocean, Discord going crazy. Let's go. What's going on in Discord? Uh, happen and hopping, you know. It's happening and hopping. Hoppin'. Yeah, we get about 300 people every Thursday. Oh, that's cool. Are, are they having fun or they hate it? Seems to be having fun. <laughs> Is Gino uh, engaging? Is he engaging them on there? Gino always engages. Guess what? Typically. <laughs> I was I was waiting for him to say it. And then it's like, well, I guess he's got nothing. And then and out he goes. I now, now Jen's down there waving. She wants to come back on the air. What do I do? do I, I will just move forward. He'll get to it later. Zachary Larrabee, $10. You're consciously or subconsciously fighting a war against tyranny. Your fans support you, Zachary. Thanks, Zachary. I appreciate that. I don't know if I am, but. Trying to expose it. Did you have words that you wanted to? I did. It's time for a giveaway. Oh. Yay. It's time for a giveaway. Okay. Time for a giveaway. We'll do that then now. Oh. Excuse me. That's not professional at all. <laughs> if you're learning, trying to learn how to do a live stream, this is not the one to replicate. What are we doing for a word here? You said last time what it was going to be, and now I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't write it down. My wife spits? No, you no. can't do that. Can't do that one. My wife looks like a camel? 
Oh, Miracle Whip. That's what it was. That oh, Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip. Thank you, guys. Right, just joining, here's how it works. Just type Miracle Whip in, in the chat. Just Miracle Whip, just like you see it. No space. Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, crazy machine is going to pick some person at random to win a $50 gift card to the Wi-Fi store. You can buy stuff like the Fear the Crab Cat mug or Hecklefish for President t-shirt. And um, and Victoria will come over and massage your feet. <laughs> so that's gonna, that's type it in there now. And um, if you have bunions, don't bother because she won't massage bunions. But if you have nice feet, she will come over and rub them. Uh, I don't see any typos in there. <laughs> if you're in the LA area, Gina will rub your feet. Uh no. Your feet. Nobody's gonna rub anybody's feet. <laughs> uh, Reese Gibson, I, I think you need the space in there. No space. Uh, yeah, I think no space, no space. Right. I'm looking for uh, uh, Mary going. She's going bananas. I think that'll work, but I'm not. I'm not sure. There's Diva Mama. Uh, we need to get rid of that space. Avatar guy says Mayo Whip. That's not going to work like so much emphasis on the H. Quip. Um, bathtub of Miracle Whip. Probably yeah, work. Victoria can help you with that, Ken, but you got to win. I just like saying her name, Christina Hinks. <laughs> Christina Hinks. Christina Hinks. Yeah, do we light this candle or what? Wait. Yeah. Okay. Rob Knight. <laughs> uh, Tin Man. We whip. Oh, Jason May goes with Mayo Queef. No, no. Do not ring it. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, dumpster Diving Dragons. Merry Girl Whip. Jake Best, Mediocre Whip. Do they, is, do they still make Miracle Whip? Is that even a thing? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was like, like sour mayonnaise, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just mayonnaise. <laughs> it's not, no, it's a, it's yeah. not mayonnaise. It's, it's, a, not. it's a sandwich spread. It's a sandwich spread, yes. Yes. I'm a fan, actually. Are you? I, I, like, I like all kinds of whips. I'll, I'll go Miracle Whip. I'll go Cool Whip. Gino, always into the whips. Uh, there's Miriam Davies. That's uh, vegan A's. That's not going to work. And no way I would ever eat that. Let us all there. Mir throwing the one in there. That's not going to work. Mr. Mark Curse Foam. Uh, James Mendike. Uh, it's salad dressing. Gomi mayo is, is greater than imitation. I agree. Uh, All right. So go with Chris Marshall. Uh, Miracle Whip makes you poop. Okay. Um, MD wants a chemtrails episode. Uh, WC has the foot fetish. That's okay. The, I hope you win because Victoria will dig right in between those toes. <laughs> She gets in there. There's Earl. There's Chip, Todd, John D, NK, Lily Nova, Jessica James, Adam Murphy, Mike T, Celine Waters, Borkin, Maurice Blair. Yay! Yay! Maurice Blair. And I think, I think that's Show Kashugi in the in the Avatar. What do you think, Gino? Think that's that think that's show? Going back to 80s ninja movies? Show Kashugi? It's too it, it's too too small for me to see, but uh, uh Maurice, I, I, I think you might be the only one who remembers Show Kashugi. The last ninja. No, I remember running around the backyard with my, my ninja suit, my my tabby boots. I know Is I almost threw a ninja star in my face. <laughs> ninja stars throw ninja stars at Gino. All right, Maurice. Um, all you got to do is is uh, find Victoria on Discord, and uh, she'll give you her cell. Put in a help desk ticket, please. And then you'll win a fifty dollars gift certificate to the Wi Fi store. Shop.wifiles.com. So we've got one hundred and thirteen left to go. It's nine thirty six. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and I've got leftovers, but I, when, as the evening wanes, I start to feel like I start to feel like Applebee's. Well, you don't have to. Sorry, I got distracted by the chat. You don't have to eat your leftovers. What's going on in the chat? Uh, lots of people still saying things about Miracle Whip. Somebody asked if Victoria gets hazard pay. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, you Greenfoot. Yay. Fantasy Aqua says, wearing my camp Greenfoot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Smell that one. Camp <laughs> Greenfoot shirt. I'm glad you, okay, those, those are really nice. And um, no, I never talk about merch but um but if you go to shop at the the camp greenfoot shirts are really nice they are it's i watch a ones. couple of i watch a couple of channels that push you know push their merch uh hard and i i fast forward right through it so um so if you're watching this on replay I, it just fast forward through it that's that's fine my feelings aren't hurt uh so here they are i just want to show you because they're really nice and they have got kind of that retro vibe they're fun. What's this guy happy about? That's not a guy. What's that guy so happy about? I love them. So that's uh, shop to the wife You can support uh, your favorite YouTube channel or this one. There she goes. So thanks for that fantasy aqua. Fant Fantasy. Becky Ward is back. Hate that this happened. Such a good episode. I guess it's a ram by some weak little sheeps. Don't let this get you down. We got your back. I appreciate that. I'm not down. I'm good. I'm good. The Chocolate Chakra 777. It may be very worth looking into Iris TV. I think they pay a significantly higher percentage of ad revenue to content creators. That could be, but if I never heard of it, how much you know, how, what could they possibly, I mean, can you make a living from it? The only data platform built for video. You can't show me that Mexican grilled street corn when I'm starving. In the Seinfeld diner. I'm going to look into that chocolate chakra. Thanks for the 777. Ray K's there, $20. Would it be possible to do Kickstarters or something for episodes you want to do that YouTube wouldn't allow? Great episode. Loved it. Very well done. Uh, I guess I could. I just, I don't have the time, Ray K. But when I do, and when we do exclusives, we'll I'll put those on Patreon. Easy to support on Patreon, by the way. Three bucks a month. John Brooks, $5. Three of my closest friends that worked at DIA have died from cancer or lymphoma. That's crazy. Heard more that died the same way. I didn't hear that in my research. That's crazy, John. But a lot of these theories about these places, they have that. I mean, there's, I didn't cover it, but part of the conspiracy theory, I got to turn Iris off. They keep showing me grilled corn. Part of the theory, um, I didn't cover it. It was just kind of weird. Was that the lower levels have this electromagnetic field that makes people sick when they're down there. But it was a Phil Schneider comment, so I didn't go much into it. But it was interesting. So, but if that's true, if Phil was right, I, you could see why why it could cause some cancer. Luis Raimundo's back. Hey, hello, hey, hollow, hollow Earth, Hollow Earth, love the White House. Hello, Hollow. Balls Capone, don't let the bastards grind you down. You guys are the best. Always love Thursdays. Ever done a video on Oak Island? I know there's a whole series on it already, but it's pretty scripted, I think. Yeah, it's pretty scripted. I watched a little bit of it and was disappointed because I wanted it to be a little weirder. And I'd like to cover it, but I feel like that show is in the way. Like, would you click on that? Like, I've already seen the 500 episodes of Oak Island. What is this kid going to tell me? But, but the original, like the OG stories about Oak Island are fascinating. I'll look at that, uh, Mr. Balls, Mr. Capone. Quirky Munster, hi, a Waffle House crew. Just wanted to say, love you guys. Saw you received the little foots toys. Hope you enjoy them. Well, thank you for those, Quirky Monster. I have them around here somewhere. Hold them up and give you a plug, but, uh, oh, here they are. I said, give you a, I, I said, give you a, 
a plug butt, not the other way around. I don't know if you're paying attention to that. Yeah, so here they are. That's uh, it's like a sleeping. What is it? What do you think that? It, a little cryptid, little like. Cute little cryptid. All right, I'm gonna put that on. I'll put that on the set. They're adorable. Totes adorbs. Whoa! Use your one zero three four two eight three with two hundred bucks. What the fish needs now? The tips. Sweet tips, they're the only thing to bring a smile to my little lips. Or buy a shirt, a mug, or a hat. If it's easier, just click the super chat. <laughs> so YouTube flags that as a copyright. Um, which is normal, but I don't know how it even knows that song. It's so weird. <laughs> Something happened with the export of that audio file. So that's why it sounds like it, it's, it's like, it, it's technical, but something happened with the export that was weird. And it's, but I, well, I kept it cause it just sounds trippy to me. Like, it does. It sounds like something in like a carnival that's just a little off Uncanny Valley. I was going to say, you know, when you're on mushrooms, but yeah, it could be like a carnival as well. Gino knows what I'm talking about. There is, oh, wait. For two hundred dollars, you wanted me to say lizard people at least. I, everyone should, for two hundred dollars, everyone should say lizard people. Lizard people. Lizard people. Lizard people. All right. Even even a big lizard people from Gino. That's special. Bill M for um those are Filipino things, right? Yes. Pesos. Can you do a yes. show on the Freemasons? I'm a member and applied from your Discord to help you on YouTube. Well, thanks, Bill. We could do I, that. I want to do one. You want to do on one? Freemasons, yeah. And why you Templar? Why a dog seven four nine nine? I've never actually created my own YouTube account, and I did tonight because I love the channel so much. Husband and I enjoy all the videos. That's very nice of you to do that. Why you? Why a dog seven? Your husband sounds awesome. Trey M is here. How AJ Huckfish? Would you like a picture of me wearing my conspiracy theory shirt I bought from Wi Files and put on the site? Yes, would love to see that. So I, I mean, if you. And if you buy something, send it in. Go to the whitefiles.com and look at Wi Files in the Wild, this page, and there's, and we'll put you up in the gallery. I mean, talk about a black belt and beards, right? That's serious. But uh, we had a couple of good ones come in this week. The, um, every time you reload the page, these are randomized. So there's no specific order. I mean, look, come on. Amazing, right? This one gets me every time. The smile and the teeth, right? I love that. I love it so much. She's so cute. She just fresh out of her bath and she got on her hecklefish stuff with her mugs. Oh, that's from a bath. I'm assuming. Well, you don't know what's happening there. I don't know. Maybe she just got out of the pool. I, but... Anyway, she looks That's very your cute. concern. It just reminded me of when I was a little kid, and then never. Uh, so thanks for that, Trey. Send that into the Y Files uh, to um go to yfiles.com and in the wild, and we'd love to put you up there. And at the end of every episode, all those pictures, those are up there. Pegasus Angels here, Lord Hecklefish. Please tell the bash sheep to be nice to your human. <laughs> Had a lot of fun watching the episode tonight. Very interesting. Here's a tip for the real MVP Hecklefish. Yep, thanks for all you do. I appreciate that, Pegasus. Hey, pretty smart for a human. I, I was wondering what was gonna happen there. You okay? You need a you need a Red Bull? 
<laughs> uh, Joel Brandon Media. Uh, I had never heard the story before. There must be a way to bypass the censorship. Not on this platform, Joel. But uh, I'm glad this is a new story for you. That's great. The dude 087 is back. Hey, AJ, what was the name of that video that got banned from YouTube? If you can't say the name, can someone message me on Discord? Great shoe tonight. How does he know what I'm wearing on my feet? <laughs> um, so what, what does he mean? What video got banned? Well, I think some people are thinking that you had a video that got banned. I don't think I had instead one banned. Of instead of demonetized. I think that's, I think there was just some confusion. Because people were asking, did the whole channel get demonetized? Is it just this video? So. Gino, you were signaling? No, I was just saying that that, that uh, they mistaked uh, demonetized for removed for ban. Oh. Yeah, so demonetized doesn't mean ban, but if if no ads can run on it, YouTube doesn't promote it. It's not advertiser friendly, so it basically gets buried. And you could see it when you go through the catalog of the the number of views, you'll know which videos were demonetized, you know, million million 200,000, million million 200,000. So the views that we'll get on this video tonight is what came in tonight. And then that's it. Then it basically disappears. Thomas Hawk. Have you guys looked into the mud flood in Tartaria? Also interesting is Mud Fossil University and his stone giants. Wildest is the giant fish skeleton and dragon skeleton thousands of miles long in Africa. Yeah, I've heard of that. Um, we're working on mud flood in Tartaria, Thomas Hawk. That's coming. That's a new urban legend. Still making its way. TJ Rowe, $10. Blucifer is a reference to the Denver Broncos. It was designed to intimidate incoming football teams, according to legend. Denver native here. Well, they should have made him a little more intimidating. I mean, after Elway, what was left? But, I mean, he, those are the uh, Broncos colors, right? I mean, Blucifer, is, that's Bronco blue. Loved Elway. Patricia Younger Coca. Coca, Coca, Coca. She's digging the cool shades. Well, I'm digging her cool hat. What do you think of that? too i like it i like it I it looks like she's like a one of those those brownies those girl scouts that looks like a girl scout hat and those are her pins on there right from all her different crafts i'm sure that's exactly what it is do you think she sells cookies you've cracked the code crack the code there she goes ron klotzer's back my ex's best friend's husband was building it was a building engineer for denver airport talk about weird things there if asked for more info, said she couldn't. Well, get her number on and Victoria will call her and we'll get to the bottom of it. NGM132, there's so much there that's unexplained and they deflect truth seekers with sarcasm. I'm with Hecklefish. Wake up, sheeple. They do that and it's it's to and to embarrass you. It's to make you feel stupid and because then you, you're just... You get your feelings hurt and you don't want to talk about it. Even though you believe it, it's like, why you say something? You're just going to insult me and make me feel stupid. Becca Brown. Hey, do you ever have trouble sleeping at night because you're freaked out by whatever topic you're researching? I would be scared. Do you talk to Jen about the creepiness? <laughs> <laughs> did you see that? It's rude. <laughs> well, she wasn't doing it to you on... It's like it was a insult to you <laughs> kind of insulting <laughs> um i don't i don't get scared about the topics too much the i was scared the shadow people was a scary one because that happened but for the most part no that being said if i spend a lot of time in a dark topic and i'm here in the studio alone by myself in a undesirable part of town and i hear a noise i i i get i get on alert is that fair to say? A little uneasy. I get uneasy. Well, and the shadow people one was creepy too because part of the legend is that the more you talk about them, like the more you invite them into your life. Right, like the crab cat. Right. So that was a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's frozen. So I guess that's it. Legion of Comics, $5. I just, fin just finished the episode. One of my favorites. Such a fun topic. There's a great comic, The Department of Truth, that covered the DIA in an issue. I don't know that one. I'm not surprised that you know, but I'm going to write that down. I can check that out. 
uh, the Department of Truth. Comic. Truth. Well, that's, that's a mess. Oh, yeah, these would be fun. Read the first one online. Nice. Ooh. Have to be over 18. I'm nope. not going to do it. I'm not going to scroll through all of it. <laughs> oh, look, she's rocking them too. We got to get them for everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm put mine on. Last week killed me. Yeah. What, you know, if Jen's going to look at her purse, we don't have an hour to wait for her to find whatever she's looking for. Uh, Mr. Uh, who's this? How do you pronounce that? Peckerwood. The algorithm wouldn't let me see. She just spit it right out, huh? She did. She just. She spit it out like a camel. The algorithm wouldn't let me super chat with everything I wanted. It kept stopping the purchase and telling me to edit the message. I don't know why. Um, you know, your username is Peckerwood, so I don't know <laughs> what you were writing, but I I could suspect it was naughty unless the algorithm doesn't like your username. I like it. There's a, there's ME for one, two, three, four, five. First After Files Live, great episode. Enjoyed the Oats backward speech episode. I remember listening to him in art. That uh, he was great on there. I uh, was hoping you'd play the recording where Oates is in his house. His secretary busts in and tells him his house is on fire. 90% the same forward or back. I couldn't find that audio, M.E., because I, I talked about it. And I, I, as I'm writing it, I'm going, it would be nice to have that audio. I didn't even know it existed. But um, email me that. I'd like to hear that. The Raven's Break is back. Just Illuminati. Yep, that's true. Paralyzed Power, I hate to hear about the demonetization. Long time supporter. Me, my 10-year-old son, love this channel. Looking forward to the sheep, sheeple mug. Keep fighting the good fight. My son would love a shout out. Aiden, Lieberger. Aiden. 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 What's that? You, you, that's your glasses. You look fanny four eyes. These are my glasses. How bad were your eyes before the LASIK surgery? Oh, so bad. I was like, I literally was like legally blind. Like I could see Her glasses anything. were so thick that she could see through walls. <laughs> uh, apples to apples. Would you be willing to do a video on our movement into the photon belt, please? You have to hit me up on the tips line because I don't know what that is. But I'm interested in that. And always looking to cover people's movements. No palatable for uh, congratulations on channel growth. Any chance Space Panda will make an appearance for the 2 million subscriber celebration? That's a great idea. That's a great idea. We can we can break him out of mothballs. There's Excel. There's Jack. Would you ever try to get on the Joe Rogan podcast? I'm not a fan. Good. I'm really, really not a fan. <laughs> uh. If you're just joining us, Jack, uh, Gina and I were on Rogan a couple of years back. Danger Mills, 49.99, amazing channel. I'm wondering, what do you think about Dr. Stephen Greer's statement that 80% of UFO events are false flag operations in order to sway public opinions against extraterrestrials and make everyone believe they are hostile? You know, I, I'm, I've been a fan of Dr. Greer's work, and I'm becoming a slightly less of a fan because of all the money, but. I, I kind of believe his statement there. I don't know the percent. I don't know where people get the percentages like that. But if if you were to ask me, is a percentage of UFOs a false flag operation? I would say yes. I'd say yes, they are. But I like the way you think, Danger Mills. Jagged brain can't make money telling truth. Word is born. Fast Philly, suing an artist to complete a contract and getting a devil horse. Has Michelangelo and Sistine Chapel vibes. Is this making sense to anyone? Oh, because he was late delivering it and they sued him. 
getting the devil horse and Michelangelo and Sistine Chapel because they stiffed Michelangelo on the bill. I don't know if he sued, but in the Vatican archives, there are letters from Michelangelo, like with like late notices and stuff like the Pope stiffed him. So he gets to pay an extra 5% of uh Lyra or whatever they spent down that Vegas bomb, $10. Love the show. You should do one about the discovery of the tomb of Gilgamesh. There's a wild video out there on the tomb and the mummies. By the way, my friend wants a hecklefish plushie real bad. We're working on that Vegas bomb. Um, tips line, email me tomb of Gilgamesh. I'd like to, I'd like to look into that. As, as far as I knew, that was just a, a folk tale, a Sumerian epic, no? Swain Shane Swenson, Swen, Swain Shenson. Wonderful show. I lived in Denver before, during and after the build. None were happy with the cost, the location, or the E470 toll we had to pay to get there. Uh, I'll need to share your channel, get you to 1 million followers. Thanks, man. If I keep getting demonetized, we're going to get to 1 million subscribers real fast. <laughs> no. Appreciate the support, Shane. Brian Emerson, I saw you were demonetized and jumped into your Patreon to do my part. Great episode. Appreciate that, Brian. Great way to support the channel. It's Patreon. Uh, it's as little as $3 a month, so I appreciate that, Brian. Matt, N with $100. I'm a fish. I'm a lover. I'm a freak in the covers. I'm a swimmer. I'm a saint. I do not feel ashamed. Any thoughts about an episode on the law of one and whether it is a hoax? I was looking into that. Like if, if there's a concern that it's a hoax, probably a hoax. Yeah, this could be a, a it could be a fun one to do. Uh, the law of one, a searchable database of the law of one, the raw material, the material which was channeled. Yeah. I don't, I'm not down with the channeling, especially, especially with, for money, Matt, but, um, maybe I could do something on that. Not big on the channelers, but I could be, my mind could be changed if, if there is a real one that emerges, but I have yet to find one. Rush Rider 13, screw YouTube. Bunch of sensitive snowflakes, a lot of them. Keep up the great work, Cryptid. I mean, Lord Hecklefish, AJ, I mean, team. New Black Belt. hey -o. I like the attitude in that in that super chat. Jose Camacho's here. My whole family. His whole, his whole family loves the channel, especially his three daughters. I love that. He means entire family, right? It doesn't mean uh, he's got a bunch oh. of whole. Right. He means entire family. Thumbs up. Florida Food Forest, 1999. Hello, what do you do? We'd love to see an episode of the Windover Bog People of Florida. Yeah, that one's come up a little bit. Bog people are fun. I was looking into some, I was looking into a bog person story just the other day, now that you mentioned it, that there was a mockumentary done on it in the 70s. It slips my mind. It might be the same story, but it looked fun. You know, because I, I, I've got to bite the bullet and do a cryptid soon. My pool, just 50 shekels in the till. No question, no comment. Just straight up support in the channel. I appreciate that, uh, Mike. Tamika Banks loves the content, watches everything. She's waiting for us to cover the film and the Younger Dryas. That, that's coming. That's on the short list. The film, The Giants of the Bible. Thanks for that support, Tamika. Jim Butcher, Boucher, Butcher. What about the Manson murders being staged in Sharon Tate? Not killed. Read something about this years ago. It's interesting, but I can't do murders on this channel. But the What Files coming up in uh, in a few months, hopefully, is going to do true crime. And we can talk about stuff like that. I can't do it here. Especially, you know, i got to walk on eggshells right now. Samsa, Samsa's for $20. Uh, thank you. Not much, but I hope it helps and all the best. It really does help. And that is a lot for a super chat. So I appreciate that support, Sam. There's winter mute. I saw a doctor about my elephantitis fist. And he said that the lizard people mug is only 15 ounces and that you have a normal fist. Well, I, I, don't, I can't tell winter mute, but I'm however big your fist is, I'm sure it's just, just right. Grim 77, YouTube will promote monetized videos with people doing literally any mundane thing while dressed provocatively. I think you know what you and the fish have to do. 
<laughs> is he saying take it off and sh and 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 show it? Uh, he is, but well, he Hecklefish is going to launch that only fins. He is. That's right. He's very excited about it. Very excited about it. There she goes. Rodney7139, if one were to hypothetically want to find those conspiracies that would get you banned if they're talked about, what would one type into Google search and what would that website be titled, for example? Well, A of all, Google search ain't going to do it. So you got to start with DuckDuckGo. Google conspiracies that turned out to be true 2016 to 2022. And that will give them to you. Guaranteed. Besides, Rodney, you already know what they are. There's Sooty. Why not make a, the high-risk episodes we all want, host yourself, and have a $1.99 rental fee, crowdsource the price, but I'd be okay with that. That's an idea and something that we're thinking about, but in the meanwhile, I'm going to keep it on Patreon because those folks deserve it for supporting the channel. But pay-per-view is something, something we've talked about, but maybe for something like, like super special that needs a lot of production cost. For just a regular episode, I wouldn't want to charge any more money for it. But for something like if we go out into the field, which we're thinking about doing, maybe we'll crowdsource that. And a dollar ninety nine is is the number. It, it would be that or less, or ninety nine cents. Twisted twisted existence. Fifty dollars. That's amazing. You've already blown it. Say what you feel. Yeah, I, yeah. We're already there, right? We're the episode's already jacked up. Sam's back. Hi, you guys are amazing and beautiful people. I'm sorry for getting unfunded for this episode. Wish you all the best. Uh, P.S. Tried to send something earlier, but forgot my password. God bless you and yours. Well, thanks, man. I'm glad you remembered your password. So you can get that super chat in there. Support the channel. Darren Hamilton for $50. Do five more dollars and you get a private dance. You get a private dance. What he didn't tell you is that the private dance is from Victoria. I enjoy your stories and the way you present them and the look and feel. Here's a little something to help out with the demonetization. Thanks so much, Darren. Luis Rivero's there. Extremely entertaining as always, guys. Thank you, ma'am. Supporting the channel. I'm just trying to go fast here so we can get you wrapped up in a measly four hours. And I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to do it. I think we can do it, right? If I can average 45 seconds. Per, yeah, we can do it. If that's Smith, $20. Hello, wife. I was trying to send my first super chat. You always remember your first. Keep up the good work. I look forward to seeing you in Hecklefish every week. I live in Denver, so this topic is close to my heart. Yvette, go down there with your camera. Sneak in there. We'll live stream. <laughs> he changed his, his username because you always say that. Brian Bowser overrated. Milnar. Well, how do you say his last name? Um, Milnar? I can't remember. Uh, is time. anybody getting this? Spending part of my birthday watching another great episode. Should we have Victoria sing to him? Happy birthday. I mean, if you want to sing, you don't have to, but if you'd want to sing to Brian. I'm good. She's good. <laughs> Happy birthday, Brian. Thanks for supporting. Sorens loves the show. And happy to pitch in. Keep up the great content. Thanks, Soren. You guys are amazing tonight. Keeping us, keeping us, keeping us alive, keeping us breathing. Uh, Jen Sisick is here. Denver, weed, buzz, kill banter was so funny. LOL. I'm glad you enjoyed it. What's happening in this picture here? Is this is she working? Is she, is she working a zoo? Let me see. I gotta, no, it's a bit. No, no. It's a bit what, sleeping with a stuffed monkey. I don't know. Are you sure? I'm not seeing that. It looks like maybe she's a she's maybe a zoo veterinarian. No. And is that baby okay? Baby's. Should we send the money back so she get the baby looked at? No, the baby's just sleeping. Baby's okay. Yes, baby's okay. Thank you for supporting Jen, and I apologize for my wife making fun of your baby. That was rude. Michael Lyons, uh, thank you for the excellent show. Thanks, Michael, for supporting. Oh, thanks for the tip, Ewan. Uh, here's a tip for you. Uh, don't eat clams in July. That's always good advice. No clams in July. There's KTT Tail. Thanks for the awesome job you do. We all appreciate the research. You compile Hecklefish 2024. This human knows what's up. 
Thanks for supporting. Amazing. Psychoholic, 20 Australian. Couple for your book list, The Oz Files, The Gosford Files, both about UFOs in Australia. I've heard of both of those. The second is the uh, same air, same area as the Egyptian hieroglyphics in your short video. Second super chat. First was last week's live stream. Thanks, Psychoholic. Good, good uh, suggestions. Those are good stories. Jefferson Triplett is back. Always good to see you. It, he looks like a, like a wedding singer to me, right? Like he should be singing, like co covering 80s tunes at a wedding, right? Yes, but read his yeah. chat before you say too much more. Hey, buddy. Lost. Oh, because <laughs> that always happens. Yes. Is to have a little fun, and then it's, hey, buddy, I lost my wife 17 years. Uh, last se September, found your channel, and it makes me think of what you discuss. It takes my mind off missing you. Well, I hope you're having fun, and I apologize for her making fun of your name and photo. But, uh. But you're welcome here. And look, man, jump on the Discord. There's a lot of a lot of supportive people in there, and they will definitely make you forget um, forget your sadness. I promise. Tip for tool is here, fifty dollars. Shitching baby. What alternatives to YouTube have you considered? So censorship and demonetization from the usual suspects no longer hits as hard. Looked into locals. I haven't done locals because Patreon is here. And I feel like there's enough ways to support the channel, but I'm I'm looking into it. Um, I support a couple of creators on there. The alternatives are uh, Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey. So all this stuff, everything from the Wi-Fi goes to those platforms, but compared to YouTube, it's like literally no one watching. So revenue-wise, I'm just there just for people that are there. But um, I don't know. I think in, on Rumble in the past 12 months, I think I made $22. Xander Grace, Olivia Seven. She watches his watches his shorts, not all of them. Her favorite is whenever he talks about the lizard people. Now, Hecklefish has his own channel, by the way. I think it's what's his channel? Is it Hecklefish Moriarty? Hecklefish Moriarty. There's his channel. If you want to check him out, like if he's if he sings on the show, usually the full um, the full song is over on his channel. Yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of his, you'll like it. If you if you think he's annoying, you're not gonna like it. Um, so thanks for supporting Xander Grace. Very nice of you, James Austin. The sharing of independent thought is the reason they're trying to get rid of TikTok. That's not the reason. Um. But keep an eye on the on the bill on the ban TikTok bill. Can't let that pass. DS DS Smith, Texas, another great episode. Hail Lord Hecklefish. Finally, a human who gets it. Uh, there's Paul uh says, I'm not here. Sorry. Ooh, Mama Sita. Thanks for the tip, human. Paul's there. Mind Fury 1980. Sorry to hear you demonetize just for calling a spade a spade. Love the channel. You and Hecklefish are a riot. Keep it up. Thanks, Mind Fury. I appreciate the support. There's Guerrero. Can you do an episode on aliens and Tom DeLong of Blink82? Pretty, pretty, please. Send that in the tips line and remind me. A couple of people have asked for that. It could be fun. DE, $100 I wish to donate to and support the Cricket Powder Cookie Experiment Fund. Well, I'll be a son of a fish. That's a nice tip. Maybe I'll roll some some video on that, on, uh, on, on, on Jen eating the Cricket Cookies. You yeah. try it. We'll try I'll it. Try it. I'll try it. You know. You don't want to, but you'll do it. I'll do it. I will try it. Ray J's back for another hundred dollars. Sweet fancy Moses. I'm gonna be in a new tax bracket over here. Tax is a theft. He's got a point. If you could be a theorist about math and science, what is so wrong with being a conspiracy theorist? It really depends on who you ask, Ray J. Squirrel Master for $50. Has anyone made the connection between Blucifer and the Denver Broncos mascot being a blue horse? They have. Uh, that aside, keep it up. The community will support you wherever you share your content. Thanks, Squirrel Master. And I, I'm, I worry that may, you know, maybe I hit too hard about the demonetization, like the channel's in trouble. Because we're not in trouble. We're going to be no. okay. We're going to be okay. It's just you're, I mean, these are super chats from like 
<laughs> way, <laughs> way early or way earlier oh. in the live stream. It's like, because I feel bad because the, the financial support is great, but like all the kind words are making me kind of sad. Well, don't don't be sad. I think she says, "Don't be sad." So I won't be sad. But thanks, Squirrel Master. Mr. Pengi recently came across the videos and his hooks. Keep up the amazing vids. Thanks for supporting. That avatar was, is that a cat wearing a cat head? That's like yes. the cat, that's like the cat version of Leatherface, right? It's Catception. Yours it's was what? funnier though. We both did jokes, but mine was funnier. Yours was funnier. Huh. Call me shocked. There's Ish H 1999. Just trying to offer my humble support. Love your work. Thanks, Ish. I appreciate that. PJF is here. Great video tonight. Sorry about YouTube. Any chance on a video of the death of Pope John Paul I and his possible murder? I haven't heard that one. I mean, we mean not Paul II, right? Paul the first. Possible murder. But Google's not the place to search for this. Saying the first is the conspiracy, the conspiracy theories. And and it what just calls out all the stupid, crazy people who, who have questions. So he died suddenly uh, 33 days after his election. Following his death, several conspiracy theories have sprung. Just because they're conspiracy theories doesn't mean they're wrong. Discrepancies in the Vatican's account of the events surrounding Pope John Paul first death it's an accurate statement about who found the body, what he had been reading, when, where, and whether an autopsy could be carried out. Produced a number of theories, many associated with the Vatican Bank, which owned many shares in Banco Ambrosiano. That's an interesting one. I, you know, you can, you can say stuff about religion and Catholics and all that stuff on YouTube. They don't mind that. They're down. They're they're down with that. Doctor Nan Fran, one hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. How dare the YouTube goons keep our merciful Lord Hecklefish from his well-deserved Belvedere. I shall not stand for it. Keep up the great work. Last week's episode still has me questioning everything. That was trippy, right? Love to y'all. Please make sure his lordship receives his libations. He would not let me forget those. Yeah, last week's episode was trippy. We're living in a in an hologram that we're all creating together as a single consciousness, but we're not aware that we're doing it. Busy JMZ, 1999, my favorite YouTube channel by far. Spotify, you sometimes in the car. Cool. Yeah, if you want to listen to Wi Files on the go, all these episodes land on Spotify and they usually hit about eight o'clock on Thursdays. And there's, if, there's video on there too. So if you want to watch on Spotify, you know, unless it's, Band, of course. Ut, ut awesome performance. Wow, fifty dollars. Appreciate that. Ooh, thank you, human. You made my dorsal fin tingle. Oh, any chance you may report on the Kandahar giant? Yeah, giants are coming up on the short list. I'm. I don't know if I'm going to just do a single like Nephilim or Kandahar or Smithsonian cover up as individual episodes, or just roll them all into one. I'm leaning toward rolling them into one, but let me know what you think. Taylor Miracle, have you seen the movie Body Brokers? If so, can you make an episode on the dark business behind addiction recovery in America? Uh, Body Brokers, I think I've heard of that. And if I'm right, then I can't cover that. Yeah. I, I really, I, Taylor, it's too, it's too risky. Like, I feel like Body Brokers is an American crime th thriller written by blah, blah, blah. And it's about the, the film was released, the plot. A drug addict is brought to Los Angeles for treatment who soon learns the treatment center is not meant to help people, but instead a cover-up for a fraud operation enlisting, oh, you can't see what I'm doing, enlisting addicts to recruit other addicts. This sounds interesting, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if we can cover this, but I bet on the what files it could be fun. This feels like a what files. Mm -hmm. Does that feel like the what files? That feels like a what class. It does. Uh, Steve Gannon is looking forward to the videos every week. 
look at how dapper he looks. I was just going to say this is clearly our best dressed super chatter of the evening. Yes. That, so that's the new rule. That's the new rule. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. So that's the new rule going forward on Thursdays is everyone must uh, must wear black tie. Men in black tie and ladies in evening gloves. Please. Maurice Blair for 55 Canadian. What's your problem? Did you say gloves? Evening gloves. Uh, gloves of evening length. Okay. <laughs> They're evening length, aren't they, Jenny? Yes. Long, long gloves. Just, just checking. <laughs> well, we know for Christmas to get her some evening length gloves. Yes. Because she's always complaining that her elbows are cold, which I think is weird. From the northern neighbors of Hecklefish, we love you. Maurice, I, th I think that's Show Kashugi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. Do you think it is? This is the same uh, one as before? Yeah, it's a, it's, he's, he's our, our, our winner. Their show, he's amazing, and I'm. I just want to see if maybe we catch the same image. And Maurice hasn't said so in the super chat, huh? In the in the chat. Ooh, nine deaths of the ninja. That was a good one. Yeah. Ninja three, the domination, is the one where. He's, there's a dude on the roof with a bow and arrow and and shows down on the ground and he but he hears the string twang so he just grabs the arrow remember that mm -hmm. twang snatches it right out the air uh, Gino not as excited as I was hoping but that's all right Carrie Holmes uh dang old dang couldn't have said it better myself. Sage is here. Much love from South Africa. Have you heard of the gigantic skeletons and footprints found in South Africa? Much love. Take care and keep safe. I haven't heard of those, Sage, but th that seem they seem to be going around. Giants and footprints and skeletons. Uh, I mean, were, did the South African cover them up like they did here? Whoopsies. Love your channel and all your videos. You rock. Would love your take on the firmament theories. Keep up the great work. Much love. I think I can cover that without running too afoul of the algorithm, though it YouTube doesn't like those theories. So that's something that <clears throat> I'll cover, but I need to, you know, I need to be a good boy for a few weeks. Brian for $99.99. Thank you, human. Maybe now we can get some indoor plumbing for this bowl. Ugh, it smells like a dumpster full of used baby diapers in here. Uh, Brian K's in here. Great job as always. I'm the Gino of my fam. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what this is about. Why not be a sponge and soak up the info? This fit is an example of how your take on something is extremely valuable. Lazar, Mason's biblical shiz. You take your take brings clarity. Yeah, so he's Brian's the believer. Yes. Right? Right, oh, Gino and Harp, they they control the weather I, I at just, Harp. Yeah, oh, well, they're <laughs> definitely controlling the weather. I mean, California just experienced the whole the, the luge of water that was seeded. Uh, in, into the Pacific Ocean, and you know they didn't predict well enough. Uh, came over to California instead of going to China. Well, you know, normally I would say that it's bonkers, but I live in the desert, and aside from two or maybe three days, it has rained every day in Vegas for months, mm -hmm. and not desert drizzles, rain that pours through my leaky roof and fills up bucket after bucket. Yes. So, and snow. I don't, I don't know if it's harp or it's China or it's the balloons. I did notice that the balloons came over and suddenly it's raining a lot. So I don't know what that means, but Brian's got theories. Brian's, you know, that's the that's the talk around Brian's house. Is well, Brian's got? Well, that's him. He's got theories. OC dude eighty two. Ever think about calling, uh, covering William M. Cooper, the author of Behold a uh, Pale White Horse? I think it would be an awesome episode. It would be, but I have to wait on that one because uh, you can't cover Bill Cooper without his predictions about 9-11 that came true and his mysterious death that happened soon after. So great story, but you know, I gotta be I gotta be a good boy for a little bit. I gotta just I gotta do a mothman. 
you know, it's like an easy cryptid episode. We're going to do um, the secret space program coming up, Solar Warden, that you asked for. Striking Steel with Eric Wolsing. I look forward to every new episode. Awesome, excellent work. And I, is, he a, is he forge? Is he forging weapons? I'm assuming he he does some type of forging. He, he looks rather natty in his little vest and his cap. I don't know. There she goes. Forging is the consensus. Kevin Somerville for one, two, three, four. Demonetized. You seem like a cool guy to hang and chat with. You don't know me that well. I wanted to buy a, uh, a don't be a sheep mug, but the shipping is more than the mug. All I can afford this week, look up God in a nutshell, Trey Smith. Well, the first thing we need to look at, Kevin, is why the shipping is so much on the mugs because it's the same supplier for all of them. Canada should be... Fine, unless you know. Oh, hang on. Gino knows about the merch. I, I will in the bet he's in UK or somewhere in Europe because uh, that's where, where the shipping is the most, and New Zealand and Australia. Oh wait, so uh, it says CA it, he uh, for what he paid. So what is that? What kind of money? Is that Canadian? Okay, so we, we figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> so Canadian should be that much money, right? It shouldn't, it like shouldn't we be. Uh, we ship to Canada. We, de we definitely ship there and uh, have them reach out. Have Kevin reach out to Gino at thewifiles.com. There you go. Direct contact with the Gino at the Y Files. Mrs. Hecklefish. Uh oh. Um, I remember be because abducted as a child, I was on a ship with other children who spoke different languages. I had to drink something that tasted like burnt marshmallows. I remember the reptilians vividly. Uh, Victoria, does your, does that beverage taste like burnt marshmallows? No, it does not. It tastes like chai tea. Okay. So no lizard people there. Gino? It sounds delicious. Gino is a fan of the lizard people beverages. I don't like his avatar. Uh, you don't like his avatar? I don't look. What is that? Dead, dead Hitler? It's dead Hitler. I mean, dead Hitler's a good thing, but that's, I don't like seeing Mrs. Hecklefish. Let's, let's get her out of the way. Michael Polloway, best channel on YouTube, hands on. Never miss an episode. Any videos you've ever wanted to do, but decided it was best to avoid. Yeah, if you watch the live streams, you'll just hear me rattle off no over and over. All the, you know, all the hard conspiracies are hard to, are, you know which ones I mean. Can't do them. Travis Chauvet, $50. Yes, I can finally upgrade my vodka to Belvedere. No more swimming in the cheap stuff. This channel's come a long way. Uh, you ain't kidding, sister. It's due to your hard work, quality research, and awesome storytelling. Keep pushing forward, and even more so when the powers that be try to stop you. The obstacle is the way. This is Marcus Aurelius. This has got to be the first quote from meditations we've had in the super chat. Carlos Contreras, not and my wife does not want to be named, is asking me, where's the fish? I told her after demonetization, he packed his bag, LOL. What's her name? Put it in the chat, Carlos. Carlos Contreras. Como su nombre. Kicking at Edwards for 3369. Giggity, love the episode. Could you make a fistable mug that says Mel's Hole? It's genius. That's genius. Is that genius? Fistable mug? Genius. Writing it down. You know, maybe a, a little arrow that says, insert fist here. <laughs> the inside of the mug. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Maybe, by the way, put a little, a little star, a little, little starfish in the bottom of the mug, a little blue knot. Somebody gets it. Brosef, dude, bro. Lucifer is pure evil. If you drive by it, don't look it in the eye. I would never. I would never do that. It's weird how it's just kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Julie Hall, no, just just shekels for the tilt. Thank you, Julie. That's amazing. Susie G, just shekels for the till. Appreciate that, Susie. Um, Bruins, we got some... Got some producers, producers clicking like mad. Oh, nope. 
It was my fault. Everyone's. It was my fault. What happened? I was trying to delete the ones that you already read and <laughs> you were clicking fast and, and sorry. <laughs> Can I add something, AJ? Go back a second. So uh, you were just talking about Mel's Hole. Uh, I just want want uh, to let people know uh, I'm in communication with a lot of the fans, and I have a fan who w wants to remain anonymous that has sent in another hole that with pictures that is a huge, huge hole in Iraq. Um, so there, there are um, other holes out there, mysterious holes. And if if uh, you're a fan and you got um, a story to tell, we want to we want to hear them. Send them in. You know, put go on the Discord. I'll talk to you about them. Does the Victoria Iraq hole, hole, hole stories? Gino is a big fan of holes. As is, is the Iraq hole have so, some stuff besides the pictures? Is there a story there? Because we'll do it. We'll cover it. I mean, holes. Uh, it's, this channel, the holes do well here. It, it's more of a military uh, story that, than a supernatural story. But uh, uh, yes, uh, there's there's a little story to it. Again, uh, I. There, there's a lot of aspects to the story. So, but I, I don't know if it could be Y files. It's a personal uh, story that he's telling, but we still want to hear all those stories. It, it doesn't have to be a story that that's just out there um, for, uh, you know, the, the world already. If it's a personal story to you, we still want to hear it. I mean, we must have read a thousand shadow people stories. Uh -huh. Yep. There's the link to Discord. If you're not in there now, definitely join. And uh, and we want to hear those stories for sure. Bruins cat I mean, is a new brown convince, belt. Joe. I'm sorry. If you can convince me, I'm gonna gonna try and convince the rest of the team. There's you Bruins cat. It. He's a brand new brown belt. He, he wants he wants joke. Can you do a brown belt joke? Maybe something with the pig. P, what do you call a pig with three eyes? What do you call a pig with three eyes? There's Thomas Thanatos, Soul Taker, $20. Sorry to hear you're demon demonized. <laughs> Love the channel and the crew. Quickly become my favorite and joining your Patreon to help more. And already bought the Be Kind shirt. Thanks, Thanatos. Appreciate the support. That's amazing. Um, Patreon's a great way to support the channel. Three bucks a month. Uh, the Little Dojo Steve Smith. Is there no comment, no question, just shekels in the till. Doug W is back. Demonetize this, lizard people. Thanks, Doug. It's amazing. You guys have been amazing with your support tonight. Marion Chase, $10. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, Marion. Amazing for supporting. Vincent Melozzi, 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 loves the show. Look at the I know. I, okay. Thanks so much for your support, Vincent. Appreciate that. Janice Wallant. Wallant is here. Cool. A couple super chats. Bought some merchandise. Hope this helps. Love your channel. Love Hecklefish. It really does help. Tonight has been so helpful. I bucked up because of you. I was a little, I was a little down in the dumps, but I, I have bucked up. D Grisham, $10. Thanks for the Denver story. I actually got to see the original art before they took it down. There was also a smaller scale model. Mayan temple. None of the staff knew where the murals were. Did you see recently? And I don't know how recently could have been a couple of years, but they, on top of all the crazy stuff at the Denver airport, they put a, a huge statue of Anubis out front. Like you can't get away from it. A statue of Anubis, like everywhere you look, it's, it's nightmare. That's crazy. Like you can't t bring kids to the Denver airport. Oh, I, but you really, you don't really don't want to travel or fly with kids anyway if you don't have to. It's not. Mm, mm -mm. You don't want to do that. Leave them at grandma. There's Julie Alsop. Good to see you. Another episode, uh, great episode. Um, she just wanted to say thanks. She won a giveaway, and my jacket just arrived. All right. Well, congratulations. Oh, there. Did you, oh, that's the cabbage patch. You don't get to see that as much as you used to. Uh, Meredith Eve, ninety nine, ninety nine. Oh yeah, baby, slip that in my G string. Oh, felt a little cheap. Thanks for making awesome videos. I loves the channel. Thanks so much for the generous tip. That's amazing. Manzanita, seventy nine. Uh, thanks for all the fish. 
I, I believe he's quoting the uh, Steve Martin album, right? Yeah, Gino oh, knows that I, one. I, I was going to say, I thought it was the Douglas Adams reference. So long and thanks for all the fish. That's what it is. Thanks for all the fish. Douglas Adams, nicely done. Ricardo Villa, Villa Vicente, Villa, Ricardo, $50. I really appreciate that. Booyah, that's the stuff. Uh, Todd fourth, fourth, I, for, not Todd F. I love how we're all dorks in here. This is your home, man. This is it. We're, we're uh, one of us, one of us, Google gobble. John, John, John S. Your honesty is refreshing. Your staff is the best. There's no question about that. This is the best community wow. in, in the, in YouTube. Those guys. And there's Todd again for 49.99. That's what I'm talking about. Showed up late. Didn't even watch the episode yet. I think everyone loves the live because it's not professional. I'll watch later. Very sorry about the demonstration. There's a down payment on a pair of shoes. Woo! Woo! Pair of shoes. <laughs> what is this? Justin Breathhorst. $500. That's amazing. Wow. Where is the Hecklefish election fund? You know, for $500, how many of these Hecklefish for President mugs from shop at the .com could you have gotten for that? A lot. So many. So many. Justin, it's very generous of you. I appreciate that. And uh, that's four hours. That's our show. That's going to do it. Um, that's Gino. Thanks for hanging out. Gino. There he goes. And there's Victoria. Always, always pithy. Always helpful. Uh, she, she waves like she, she's like she's got a, a wrist issue, but I like it. It's floppy. Yeah, it's floppy wristed Victoria. And there's Jenny. Thanks, everybody. And there's the Wendigo fingers. Thanks so much for supporting the channel tonight. Um, especially after a hard, hard hit with the demonetization. I hope I wasn't too depressing about it. I just being honest, you know, that's that's what I do here. Um, but you guys were amazing with the uh with the support financially. I don't know how much that we collected during the during the show tonight, but it's but it's definitely gonna make up for what we lost because of YouTube. And hopefully I can find some information about what happened. And if I do, I'll let you know. But I I don't think they're gonna tell me because why why would they bother? So anyway, always thanks for hanging out. Your support is really appreciated. And Hecklefish, we'll see you out.
great tonight. And take care of those waitresses, will you? All right. Everybody get home safe. This is Hecklefish. And you know what? I did it. My.